Oop, let's take that mission down. I think we stole that already. You did indeed steal that. Yay! Welcome, everybody. This is uh, Season 3, Episode 6 of All the Stars in the Sky. Say hi, kids. Hello. 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 Hi, everybody. Hi, Dr. Nick. So, last time was an interesting time, was it not? Um, yeah. yeah. Would anyone like to give the recap? Who, I wonder, needs the fate? I volunteer Kira for tribute. <laughs> I mean, What's I don't know if the fate's gonna help me, but yeah. Actually, it's either Kira or somebody who might not have very much fate. Lincoln. It was a thought. Can not naming get, names. Can he get fate that exceeds his refresh? Yes, he can. Yeah. What do you think I do? I you put the fate over the refresh number and it doesn't carry over between sessions, but yeah. You can have more fate than refresh. You can just only refresh naturally up to your refresh number. Mm -hmm. I can give the recap. You're welcome to. Okay. Um, well, I'll start with Team 3. So Team 3 started off, uh, the nicknamed Happy Meal Team, started off dealing with Mordecai. Uh, Mordecai managed to also demonstrate that he seems to have some sort of either agreement or control communication method in the very least with anomalies, which is a, a wonderful thing to contemplate the ramifications and possibilities of. As the anomalies... Um, as the anomalies were basically acting on and helping with his orders, he managed to be able to get a grab on Aurelia, successfully evading every single attempt of either breaking that grab or getting away from that grab or kicking him or biting him. Aurelia tried many, many things and managed to inject her with something as well as basically take her blood um uh, afterwards we <laughs> got helpfully evacuated out by atticus running down part of the fence for the scrap yard with the jeep pulling a flare gun and pointing it at mordecai who released aurelia would not drop the vial that he had injected her with and let us leave we left as we started to leave, we managed to get over to a, I think it was a granary, a refinery sort of silo area where they were doing some medical triaging of Aurelia as Damien had managed to arrive as well for backup since Aurelia had managed to get a text off saying that we were in danger and it was Mordecai who was involved. So Damien was there too, helping with Atticus. They were dealing with Aurelia, Wraith and Benji were slightly outside when... They don't exactly know the boundaries, but there was a dreamscape that seems to be fairly prevalent or around in the area. Both of them got hit by hallucinations. Wraith was able to kind of pull himself back from it. Benji was not and thought that a truck was on fire, ran into, smashed, and killed everyone who was inside of the granary. That's great. And that's kind of how the Happy Meal ended. Uh, I can also do the second and uh, first teams, too. They are also welcome to do so. I will give everybody who does a recap for their team a fate point. Team two, do any do any of you remember what you did? No. <laughs> One second. Um... I can do it if you guys want, and I'll give you the fate. I don't care. Holy crud, my brain is empty. I know what happened at the end. Um, oh yeah, okay, now I remember. So, um, team two was my team, right? Yes. yes. Cool. Um, so, we managed to successfully get back to the car. Um, as we were back in the car, we were taking off to head to the junkyard to get more supplies. Um, the last bit of supplies we need to get. So as we were on our way there, um, we had a dog chase. At, or we had we got pulled over by some lucids who noticed our vehicle. Um, unfortunately, our driver was not able to keep from being suspicious enough. So as the lucids pulled over the vehicle, 
Uh, they went to question the driver while we noticed that there was a demon dog in the back of the car. So while the driver's being questioned, uh, things did not go well for their deception rules. So the ragtag little team decided to go ahead and knock out the lucids. But demon dog got angry. We tried to set the car on fire, hoping it would kill the demon dog. Instead, we just made a fiery demon dog. And you also made it mad. <laughs> yes, we made it very yeah. mad. So as we were driving away, we were trying various means to take down the demon dog. Uh, shooting it, throwing foam at it, which only made, made it into a more of a hellhound. Uh, the flaming hell, hellhound managed to grasp onto the back of the car. I, I don't remember how we beat it. That's where I'm blanking on. Um, you guys lured it into the scrapyard and then tried to kill it. Okay, right. So I yeah, we. Correctly. So yeah, I think we like head to the scrapyard. We did manage to kill it. I don't know if we used another god rock. I think we did. Uh, yes. yes, we used the god rock, and then Gene and Baxter finished it off. That's so, all. I remember. Okay, so with Hellhound finally defeated, uh, the group had incredibly good luck for supplies that were in the junkyard. Um, we were gathering up all our materials. Uh, Alex was going around scouting while Gene and Baxter were doing the heavy lifting. And on a very unfortunate uh, bad luck roll, and somebody who had higher stealth than Alex did notice, she got jumped from behind and grabbed with a knife to her throat by the a primary host of the Reaper. So... Failing her will rolls, she was compelled to say the Reaper's name out loud while blood was drawn from her throat, and then she was released. So a very, very shaken team, too, with all the supplies they need to get, and I think probably then some because of that luck roll, um, headed on back to the sanctuary. Okay, that's team two. Um, and Bell team. Chance, do you want it? I, I've got yes. 19 refresh, so I, I'm good. I, I, I got it. I will try my best here. Go for it. Because <laughs> waking up at 3 in the morning just thinks you. Okay. Um, Bell team, as we mentioned in the previous session, their objective was to recover the bell from the cathedral in Harrisonburg. Um, Chance and Jack had diverted the attention of the sleepers and lucids that were working around that cathedral to take a stretch break while Ash from the from the actual Blackout Club and Kaede snuck their way into the cathedral to make their way up towards the tower where they first saw contact with uh, Scarlet and Mordecai. Mordecai soon went off to go find the Happy Meal crew and then Scarlet um, was preparing a trap for us. Um, we were able to get the bell tower down, but there were some complications along the way. Uh, Jack and Chance were able to break off from the stretch crew uh, to try to figure out what was going on. They couldn't find Lawrence, their driver for the mission, and soon found him in the back of the sedan that they pulled in through, um, to where some very body maneuvering shenanigans happened that Chance was able to spy out through the uh, rear taillight to find Scarlet at first. And then things happened along the way. We were able to get access to the crane to get the bell down. Um, we got some backup from the club kids when things turned very, very poorly. Um, Kaede got stabbed. Uh, I think that's a very important point to go over. She definitely got stabbed and is in critical condition right now. Um, Dax is also not in super great shape, but they were able to rescue Ash from the crane um, after a load of... God, what were they? Um, I don't think they were Reavers, but they were definitely some assortment of very creepy monsters that... Um, Chance needed to hunker down from so he can make sure that the crane was still in position and for movement of the bell. Um, Lincoln pulled up at the last minute. Uh, Jack took some points of devotion into uh, Face the Fray. Mm -hmm. That was also a thing that happened. Um, he was seeing Yay. red for a little bit. 
Um, he almost got ahead on Scarlet, but alas. You'll get her next time, boss. <laughs> but the overall uh, statement of the mission was it wasn't a complete failure. We did get most of the supplies we needed to get started on work of the tower. But if we want to make sure we finish this up and send out a message to the Radio Quiet Zone, we need to return back to that junkyard and collect the last few pieces that we need so we can finalize the building. Okay. Go ahead and take your fate. I'm going to need it. Yes, you will. <laughs> All right. We pick back up at Haven. Um, you guys returned, and as soon as you had done so, all of you had been kind of ushered into the infirmary to get checked out. Um, Atticus was pulled immediately to start looking at Kaede after spending a lot of time working on uh, Aurelia. Um, and all of you find out as you guys get back that you know two of your members have been injected with something and one of you has a nick on your neck um, from a knife held to their throat. Um, you... You guys, everybody who is not unconscious at this time, so not Kaede, not Aurelia, um, everybody else can roll me an insight. It was everyone who went, right? So not Lillian? Um, everybody who's there and who's kind of com uh, participating in the conversation. So Lillian could as well, if she's present with the rest. You would show up when people get back, so certainly. Um, first roll is Jack. Putting all of the pieces that you have together, all of you being attacked at roughly the same time, knowing kind of where you guys were, um, you are able to, and this is a kind of a group thing that you're able to put together, um, with all of the pieces that you have, um, you narrowly meet the threshold to realize that this was a synchronized attack. Um, that as soon as you guys had left the barrier, they had tried to track you down. And all of you are now aware that blood was taken from three of you um, as it is understood that the blood that had been taken from Alex on the knife was just enough to run a sample. You guys were treated in the infirmary and then checked out. Um, those of you who had minor or moderate injuries had been uh, kept overnight to keep observation, but then had been let go. Those of you who had more lasting problems uh, were in critical condition or otherwise incapacitated, you were kept for longer. The first thing we're going to do is Aurelia and Kaede. Yeah. <laughs> Both of you have been injected with protocol five. Mm -hmm. Both of you had, at one point in time or another, or still have, some level of saturation with Speak as One. That makes this a little bit more difficult. Please, both of you, roll me your physique at disadvantage. Huh. Uh, God damn it. Aurelia, it took you almost a week to wake up. You had been kept in the infirmary and in and out of consciousness. You had kind of drifted 
um, in a half dreamlike state. You vaguely remember people talking around you. You have glimpses of the doctors treating you. Um, you're hooked up to an IV with saline uh, solution and fluids. You come to kind of abruptly in the infirmary to a shriek of strings. jars you awake sharply. You know that there are no strings that loud in this building as you come to. After a few days, Aurelia, you were released. But you feel different. You... Always hear an undercurrent. Whispers at all times. In the quiet of this building, in the quiet of your room. Occasionally, you hear the voices of the song. You know that something has changed because of what you were injected with, but you're alive. You're conscious. And for some reason, you've had a hard time hearing Hunt the Strong. Hey, hey. I need you to roll me a will at disadvantage. The difficulty here is a three. Well, can I boost? Or am I unable to boost? You can boost. Okay. You will be able unable to refresh until you have actually regained consciousness. I don't care. <laughs> what are you boosting with? Um, um, can I use... I'd rather die on my feet than on my knees. You can. Okay. Get rid of that. I'll boost. Okay. So it's a three. That is one success on will and one failure on physique. Cool. You do not wake. You are still not stable. You are not conscious. But you're not dead. When you are called to roll physique, the guideline is this. If you roll anything under a two, it means a one or lower, your organs shut down. If you roll a two, a three, or a four, you maintain. If you roll a five, you stabilize. If you roll a six or better, you begin to recover. Okay. Is there anything I can do to give myself an advantage? Or Not with physique. Okay. Am I rolling at disadvantage? You are. You've already made your roll for now. So Kaede Great. remains unstable, but she is alive. Okay. Hira. Yep. Roll me your physique. Kira does not wake. Time passed as you guys had gotten back, um, Kaede remaining in critical condition, Aurelia eventually being discharged and feeling strange. With all of the information that you've put together, you know that your enemies, the Bad Pact, whatever you want to call them, they have been moving. And despite their apparent agreement with 
speak as one and their forces to leave the area and remain out of the area, that was a pretty ballsy foray they made back into SAO territory. It also dawns on you that it is very strange that SAO let them leave at all. There was no particular reason that Speak as One had to spare them, given that they were very clearly winning. And so you know that there is something strange going on here. All of you are able to put that together. But there is little else that you can look into as you guys are kind of confined to Haven. And over time, as you guys had start to uh, recover and begin the repairs on the building and the tower, you had put more of your focus into that. Um, some of you, like Jean, had been spending, you know, days on end helping with uh, constructing of the new wall around the building, um, clearing out all the excess brush and, and uh, the burned uh, sort of foliage that had been there. Um, and some of you had spent a lot of time recovering or practicing your skills or trying to uh, otherwise better yourselves to be able to handle the situation. We enter now on April the 12th. Um, it has been quite a while. Those of you who had spent the time doing repairs on the antenna and the tower, please go ahead and roll me three mechanics rolls. This will dictate the current strength of the tower. Ah. Good God. You said three in a row, right? Yes. What rolls? Mechanics? Mechanics. Okay. Jack is working, so... And every, bit, every little bit helps. Oh, I crit! Yes, you did. Can I activate Quick Learner for this one? Um, yes. Okay. It'll be a hand-waved yes, because it's just over a period of time, so we'll allow it. Okay. My Discord is being a little laggy. Uh, drop and come back. So it was mechanics three times? Mechanics three times. What you're shooting for here is, is kind of an aggregate of all of your successes. The more that you have, the better shape the tower is in. Um, 30 is that the tower is stable, but in, in kind of damaged still. Um, 40, we're calling it, you know, pretty well put back together. Oh, that's that a, a very that near a, miss. That was the wrong person. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I was I was trying to do that on chance. I, I accidentally picked the wrong <laughs> Discord. Take two. I will go ahead and delete that one because I'm gonna have to go back and do some math. Um, Thank and you. if you guys roll 50 or higher um, kind of aggregate successes, then the tower is in very, very good shape and all you need to do is finish the uh, repairs on the dish. After you give us a total, can we boost anything or no? I would say no um, in this case, just because you guys are doing this kind of over time, it's, it's a planned action as opposed to something that you're making a snap decision on. The ability to roll three times is kind of the key there. Got it. With Alex's crit um, and everybody's collective work together, um, you guys topped 60. Ooh. The only thing you have left to do with work on the, on the tower to get it running is to finish the repairs on the dish. The uh, scrapyard that uh, Scav Team B had gone to, the scrapyard where Mordecai had appeared, 
that seems to be the location where you're going to get the parts that you need the most. They had already been all separated out um, and everything had already been machined. So you know that that is probably the location where you're going to need to go. As we come back, however, on April the 12th, everybody is starting to wake. It is about five or six o'clock in the morning. Um, so the early risers are kind of coming up. Um, who's sleeping in? Who is staying awake? Um, let's just go left to right on screen. Uh, where is Nell right now? Is she sleeping? Um, Nell has probably been in the infirmary helping Atticus and the others out the best she can. Okay. Um, is Nell an early riser? Yeah. Okay. Um, so Nell is probably in the infirmary. Uh, Atticus is kind of at the tail end of a long shift as he has been sort of trying to keep Kayate stabilized and moving back and forth between patients. Mm -hmm. um, Nell's trying to be in, like, she's kind of been helping out where she can, doing what she can with, like, what knowledge that she has in the medical field. Okay. Um, Atticus will thank her for helping. You should probably go and get some rest yourself, or at the very least, go and get some food. Oh, I, I planned on going and getting coffee. All right. Um, yes, Do you want me to bring you back any? Yes, actually, that'd be lovely. All right, I'll be right back. Um, and now and, he's from the infirmary? Yeah, to go find coffee. Okay. Is Chance asleep at this time of morning? Chance, I'm guessing, is not an early riser. Oh, God, no. <laughs> uh, so Chance Listen, is still if, unconscious. He is, he is definitely passed out. He is probably passed out on top of Benji. Okay. Benji, you're not going anywhere. Well, that mixes that plan. <laughs> <laughs> you can wake him up. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, is Jack an early riser? I imagine he probably is. He is an early riser. Okay. Um, he, he wakes up very early and tries to get some form of chore or something done, even if it's just helping with breakfast or getting some cleaning done. Okay, so this morning you're probably in, in kind of the canteen area um, or the, the cafeteria helping out with breakfast. Um, Nell, you step inside. You've heard about the Dawnbreakers. You've seen Dax talk to them, but um, and you know that they're kind of the ones that are running things out here, or at least that this is the team that has been doing everything that's going on out here. So you're aware of who they are. Um, and as you step into the, can, uh, into the cafeteria, uh, you see Jack is behind the counter working on uh, making breakfast. Oh, I'm muted. Uh, no, she'll walk up to him. Uh, do you have any coffee made? Uh, let me check if that coffee maker got fixed. I, I appreciate a it. random. <laughs> Roll a random. <laughs> no, it's still broken. It's like someone stole a few parts out of it. I can't imagine why someone would do that. I mean, with all the stuff around here that needs fixed, I wouldn't be surprised. Anything else I can get you? I'm pretty <laughs> sure we've got everything else, including pro including probably clean water. Uh, yeah, just how about two plates of food and some water? All right. Take a seat over there and... Oh, I, I gotta bring him back to the uh, infirmary. I need to make sure. It's... All right, all right. Um, if food is ready to eat, he starts plating, okay. plating up two plates. Okay. Um, You hand Nell a couple of plates of food, and Nell, you're able to take that back towards the infirmary. Yeah, she'll start taking it back towards the infirmary to where Atticus is. Okay. Uh, what about Lillian? Is Lillian awake? Uh, that depends entirely on this question. Mm -hmm. How well did Lincoln sleep last night? Lincoln? Um, let me ask that question with another question. You said that uh, Lillian was discharged, right? And she could have her own room? Mm -hmm. Okay, so they were probably in the same room together at that point. Mm -hmm. um, I'll roll random and find out. Yes. 
You know, despite everything, he was able to force himself down into a military sleep. Okay. So Lincoln slept. Okay. Um, in that case, I will roll random as well. Okay. Mmm, comfy. Cuddle. Lillian ain't getting up out of, out of bed then. No. <laughs> yeah, fair. I don't blame her. It, like, she's getting peace for the first time in a long time. Yeah. Yeah, just stay in the cuddle for a while. This is fine. Just wait till Wraith comes into the door. Uh, all right. Uh, what about Alex? Is Alex an early riser? Uh, that depends on her nightmares. Go ahead and roll me a random. Your dreams have taken the weird turn again, where it's there's somebody there present in the dream with you, but you're just kind of in an empty room and you don't know what's going on. Um, you've had a lot of those again lately. Does the person with me seem familiar after my encounter with the the knife to my throat? Uh, no, not really. Yeah, so she's not sleeping well and probably would be up fairly early. Okay, what is Alex doing at this early hour? Um, are all the phones repaired? All the phones are now repaired. Uh, most of your focus has been on the tower lately. Yeah, so she'd be just back to work doing what she can with the tower, like keeping herself busy. Okay. Um, you are uh, aware now that the um, only kind of pieces left to do is the antenna um, and the dish on top. Um, so likely what you're probably doing is you're up on the roof um, taking stock of the parts that are needed for repair. So that doing that and just kind of enjoying quiet solitude. Okay. Baxter, do you wake early? I'm leaning towards no. That you'd be correct on. Baxter is blanket pile and remains as such. No, Baxter hasn't been blanket pile in a while. That blanket pile was confiscated and washed. Yes. And he has not gone to collect it. <laughs> okay. Uh, what about Jean? Are you an early riser or are you sleeping in? Uh, Jean is an early riser today. Okay, uh, you get up early. Uh, what do you do as an early riser? Uh, he kind of grabs like it's either it's either a pick between like orange juice or coffee or both, mm -hmm. and he'll just uh, after that he will clear out and kind of check on the front gate and the walls. <clears throat> okay. Um, so Jean goes and gets a breakfast beverage, um, one or the other, or both potentially, and you head outside mm -hmm. to go start working on the walls. Yes. Okay. Wraith. Hi. What you up to? Are you an early riser uh, or you sleep the fuck in? You don't sleep real well lately, do you? Nope. Uh, He's probably uh, not asleep, but in his little tent. Okay. You're in your uh, dorm room f tent fort? Yep. Okay. With all the blankets. You just hanging out in there? Yeah, just hanging out. Just chilling. Okay. Does Wraith go anywhere, do anything? Or you just kind of hanging out there. He's he's not going anywhere. The door's okay. open. He's just he's, he's not going places or doing things. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, Wraith is uh, fort bound. Benji. It's been. Hmm. Wraith's been checking on Adam though, right? That's why the door's open. <laughs> um, Adam has risen early and is in the infirmary right now. Um, she spends most time that she's not asleep or eating or otherwise self-caring um, in the infirmary with Kaede. Where she is presently. Um, so that's where Wraith's at. Where's Benji? Um, Under well, chance, I assume. Well, originally he was actually going to be camped out in the hospital. Okay. But if Chance is asleep on him, he probably got dragged off and told to stop doing that. Probably. Are you awake? 
And yeah, I mean, he's tried, but it was either that or at least stop trying to do it as much. Yeah, uh, he's probably awake given how shitty his sleep normally is, anyways. Okay. Roll, I can roll a random to see if he slept well for once. Yeah, go ahead and roll it. <laughs> nice. I thought of me, you little dick. <laughs> <laughs> um, that is technically hot. Eh? Yeah, and 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 I noticed that dichotomy is trying to give me something in the six hundreds too. And such an auspicious number it is. <laughs> So he probably he probably managed to get some sleep, definitely, with the medicine probably helping for once. Mm -hmm. And has always been fairly bad about staying asleep for a long time. So he's probably awake with, like, chance half thrown under him. And he's just like, uh, well, I'm here for now. I'm your emotional weighted blanket. Yeah, pretty much. Um, are you going to try to move Chance and go anywhere, or are you stuck? Uh, he's gonna try to probably see if he can, like, move Chance without Chance waking up. There he's is gonna coffee. Have to roll that. <laughs> yeah. What, is it gonna be a stealth? Uh. Yeah, let's call it a stealth roll. <laughs> I'm guessing against what? Chances notice? Chances notice, yes. <laughs> I will never give you a hail Satan, Tara. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold up. Uh -huh. What? You want to shank yourself like that? <laughs> sure. Can I you? Use... No, I can't use those for trouble. Never mind. <laughs> no, <laughs> you're for... sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and that's for a conflict. So <laughs> that that wouldn't work anyway. Um, but my notice is still a two. So <laughs> you start to try to move him, and do you wake chance? I'm just going for coffee. Can I come with you? Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. okay. Yeah, but just. You know, make sure there's pants. Fine. <laughs> Benji will wait for chance instead of uh, running off alone. The wonderful thing about chance is that he just rolls off the rolls off the rolls off the bed and just pulls the trousers up. But it's just like, oh, okay. Yep. You think they can do a double shot here? Um, about that. What? May or may not have pulled a couple gears from the coffee machine. Why did you do something to the we, coffee machine? We need the tower. But coffee. The tower. Coffee. Once we get the tower running, put the gears back. They're not gonna know. It, it, but I'm <sighs> sure it'll be fine. Benji <sighs> just momentarily thunks his head against the wall. I just want some fucking coffee. Benji, you could hand. roll me a random to see if you guys have an espresso machine. Oh, oh my god. god. Can I? Can I also roll? Sure. Oh my god. What oh, the no! fuck? Oh my, my god. god. What? When you say no, Satan, you had to say something. <laughs> you yeah. had to fucking say it. The great oh thing is, is, it's at least high, so we have an espresso machine. It's a chaotic <laughs> espresso machine, though. No, I got some more fears about that espresso machine now, but guys, we have get, one. You're going to get third degree burns. Nah, I got some other fe I got some other fucking fears. Benji and infection issues. I don't need that. We have a coarse <laughs> brand espresso machine. Oh, I fucking not hate even it here. Three minutes in, man. Man. I didn't think I'd need the chaos table tonight. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't think so either. Fuck! 
Can we just <laughs> clip the 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 quote, the I'm jinx, just... and the. <laughs> Aubrey, oh <my>. what? <laughs> I own up to my shit, guys. The instant, <laughs> the instant karma. I own up to my right? shit, guys. <laughs> this is this is for Saturday. <laughs> oh, okay, fine. I just need three more from you guys, and then I'll have a complete Pokemon set. Give it to me. No. Uh. Uh. All right, hold on. I gotta switch the dice roller over to f the fucking D with one thousand. Ooh. Oh no. <laughs> I have a fear. Oof. At least we have an espresso machine. <laughs> you We're in. Machine. We don't know that, unfortunately. If we do, it has now been dubbed espresso depresso. Here's what I'm gonna do. Uh huh. Oh no. You're gonna bank it, aren't you? Sort of. Because this is a special one. Oh. So I'm gonna oh. have you guys do something for me. Okay. Oh no. Tell me your luck. Great. Uh, again? Again. Do I count? I don't count, right? All of nope. you count. But I'm sleeping. Uh. Does Devin count? I mean, Do I roll really once or twice? All sleeping. all dawn breakers. Okay. Do right. I have to roll for Kira? Yes. Oh my god! I cannot get out of mid. Oh, hey, yo, I'm working on the next one, guys. I did two really nine hundred. Oh, oh my god! On the next one, I'm on it. I really rolled a six seventy. Oh hey, a tick. Okay, so um. We're going to go ahead and take a moderate consequence, and we're just going to call the shots just to try to avert disaster. Let me just tell you, this is not going to affect your luck. What this affects is the outcome of the Hail Satan, oh. which high and low does not necessarily translate to good and bad. Gotcha. So if that's the case, then I'll just hands back. We ball. I'm not telling you what I'm doing until I've done it already. Oh, great. I also think our luck is on average high for this one particular roll. High and low don't matter, though. I know. High can give you some of the funnest things. Hmm, oh, great. great. Both of me, both yep. of my characters have a uh, 900 plus. Yep, Did... so does Chance. <laughs> Did I roll too many times or am I good? No, you're good. Okay, because I rolled- I could not get out of mid. <laughs> and then I got scared, because I kept rolling. I was gonna hit it. I don't wanna. Fucking see Kyle out there chanting for more Hail Satans. Kyle. No. Nah. Kyle down. Kyle, I need you to keep chanting for them on Monday, Friday, and Saturday this coming week, okay? No. <laughs> you are not killing Quinn. Okay. I'm not losing two characters in a week. <laughs> or Kazen. Okay, just doing a little bit of light math. Light math.
But we have an espresso machine. So, yay. Okay. All right. Anyway. We do have the espresso, though, right? <laughs> that was yes. too high. Nice. You did roll high enough to get an espresso machine. So the coffee maker is broken. The espresso machine is not. Good. Hooray. <laughs> Benji just heading there, looks over at the coffee maker, looks at Chance, and then just moves to the espresso as he vaguely waves to, to at least I know Jack is in there as well. Yes. So... Uh, waves to, to Jack as he heads over and then just starts immediately making himself some shots. Okay, to be fair, he did say coffee machine. He did not say espresso. Yeah. Alrighty. Um, you start making uh, espresso shots. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, that is where Benji's at. Aurelia. You wake almost every morning fairly early to the shriek of strings in the distance. Uh, so you're awake now. What are you doing, Aurelia? I'm probably hanging out with the hunter hosts. So you wake up and then you go downstairs to find the other hunter hosts? Yep. Okay. Where is Lincoln right now? Um, are you an early riser? You are cuddling with Lillian, I assume, as Lillian is not getting up. Well, at least until 5.30 in the morning or, or sometime around there. Because at that point, his clock is just like, all right, time to go. Not, not related to anything that's happened in the past two months or anything. Certainly not. Okay. Not based on responsibilities or requirements or anything. Mm -hmm. So his body's kind of just forcing him to get up and start doing the rounds. Okay. So you eventually kind of untangle yourself, uh, get up, and then start making rounds. Um, yep. Where do you start your rounds? I start by I start my rounds by picking up my second in command to make sure he's okay. Okay. Um, you find him in the blanket fort. Lincoln's gonna. Just do a quick knock on the metal door. Wraith is gonna poke his head out. It's like, oh, hey. Hey. Um, You're up early. Yeah, gotta do the rounds. So, you need a day just to yourself, or do you want to come with? I'll come with. All right. Being in one spot isn't exactly helping, so he's gonna roll out from under the fort and uh, get some of his stuff. Let's start with Adam, and we'll make our way over towards the infirmary and, and grab some coffee, and then we'll just make our way around. I think I'm going to stop by Scarlet's office today to do some thinking. Sounds good. Wraith is also going to grab his gun, because last time he walked around the Haven without his gun, they were attacked by a Furby. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> All right, you grab your gun. Yeah, he's ready to go. You guys go and start making the rounds. Um, you start with Adam. Yep. Adam is, you find her in the infirmary. You see that she is sitting in a chair next to Kaede. Um, Kaede's heart monitor is erratic still, um, and it has been that way for a while. Um, her heart will be stable for about 30 seconds to a minute, and then there will be sudden intense pulsing um, as her heart rate spikes briefly and then settles again. And this seems to happen often. Um, at irregular intervals. Um, Adam looks tired. She has not slept very well um, for obvious reasons. Um, she is holding one of Kaede's hands and um, she's kind of leaning over the bed and is uh, almost asleep um, as you guys come in. Wraith is gonna go and gently poke Adam. Like, hey, 
Huh? Should probably tag out for a little bit. Oh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm good. You sure? Yeah. I, I've been sleeping in here a lot anyway. I'm still recovering, remember? Yeah, hence the tag out thing. At least alternate, you know? You're not gonna have enough brain power to do much otherwise. Yeah. Well, that means we're down too. Is that... You might want to bring somebody in. Um, she'll say this towards Lincoln. Yeah. Um, I guess I should probably also talk with Dax, see if there's some extra hands that they're willing to offer. Well, he's in that bed over there if you want to go talk to him. I think it's just going to casually look over to where Dax is. Dax isn't paying attention to you. He is awake, but he is kind of flipping through a like a tattered notebook. Oh, thank God. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Ranthi got this? Yeah, I, I got it. All right. I'll be back. And... Um, Lincoln will make his way over to Dax. Uh, Dax will kind of glance up at you as he kind of catches movement on periphery. Uh, oh, hey, wh what's going on? Uh, well, just wanted to do the rounds, check in. You seem to be seem to be doing better than last I saw you here, so that's improvement. Yeah, getting stabbed. We'll do that to you. Um, how are you guys holding up? Kara's still down. I haven't checked on her yet, but Kaede is still very, very erratic. Her sister is starting to wane a little bit, so we have Wraith looking on her. And they're going to try getting her some rest, and Wraith probably take over watching her. But the fact is, we're down at least two Dawnbreakers right now. So, any yes. excavation mission we go to return to that junkyard site to get the last pieces of the dish, it's going to be risky without a couple of extra hands. So, I hate to do this, but just, do you got any others that we might be able to pull along? Maybe if Ash is feeling alright, or if there's anyone else? He looks over at the next bed over, and there's a curtain drawn around that bed. Uh, she's still not awake yet. Um, but, uh, hey, Nell, um, and he'll yell at Nell as she walks in the door with, uh, the food and water and coffee. Um, Nell will set it down, like, she'll go over to Atticus, hand him a plate, and be like, eat. And then she'll walk over to do Dax and Lincoln. Uh, yeah? hey, I, I know this is kind of the first time you've had to do this, but, um, would you mind helping them out for a bit? They're short some hands. Uh, yeah, no problem. Come on. mind. Nell, was it? Yeah. I think I'm gonna offer out his hand. Hamilton, I run the Dawn Breakers. She'll shake his hand. Penelope, but I go by Nell. It's a lovely name. Thanks. Are you follower of the Samaritan? Yeah. That definitely would come in handy. Just... Link is going to make a mental check of like, of like <laughs> do not pair her with Benji, Aurelia, or Wraith in a four-man party. Because that, check, that turns from a happy meal to a buffet platter. Good God! <laughs> oh my God! Uh, never making that mistake again. Oops. I blame you. <laughs> I, um, I, I don't mind helping you all out. All right, great. Um, so I'll probably be calling the team together here in about 40 minutes ish, 40, 50 minutes ish. Just give them enough time to wake up and grab some breakfast before we make a game, pro game plan about how we're going to go to the junkyard and get the last few parts that we need. All right. I'm, I'm kind of out of commission. So if you guys have research you need done or information you need gone through, you can pass it off to me and I can just make notes. Um, it's not like I can go anywhere. He says looking down. I think the murder hobo was working on something, so... Um, the what now? The murder Tall hobo? dude. Tall dude. 
uh, uh Jamaican beanie. Oh, good to know. I don't know. Everyone calls him that. I don't know what happened. I was busy driving Lillian out to Harrisonburg at that time. Got it. Um, well, whatever you need, I guess. Um, I was able to make contact with Gwen inside. Um, shit's bad in there, you guys. Yeah. No kidding. So, we need everything to get the deliberative going, right? That's what you're, you're calling it? The meeting? The voice meeting? Yep. That is the goal. So, the last few pieces we need are going to be in that junkyard site. Um... However, we do have some other things that we got to keep our eyes on. Talking Heads is one of them. Um, let's not forget that there's still an entrance to the maze underneath this entire place, so any surveillance there would help. But we also need to get more information about the Grand Relay. Yeah, hearing that there's a bigger Doom Harp uh, in a mountain was not a fun thing to learn. Yeah, how do you think I felt about it? I drove yeah. that entire thing. <laughs> Yeah. So, okay, well, why don't I talk to your murder hobo, um, and we'll see if we can't get this thing going. Yeah. Um, oh. still, still trying to digest all the, everything that's happened. There's, we have some stuff to update you guys on too, about what we were doing out here, but it, whatever, um, we can do that later. Um, why don't you go talk to your team, take Nell with you, she's, I mean, when we were in Red Acre, she used to jump teams all the time whenever we needed her to anyway, so this shouldn't be bad for her. Oh, you're another jumper, huh? Like, it just offers a very faint, weak smile, like, I understand that pain, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I, I used to hunt stalkers with my teams. Oh. Yeah, the, you're gonna be running with what was once he got a size uh the disaster brigade and team bad decisions uh, all all in one spot i'm sure that's fine dax just kind of <laughs> stares into the middle distance <laughs> if you have any memoria or history about the disaster brigade you knew they were rule breakers not not in the about in the amount of killing people, but en enough to amount that Dex really did not like the Disaster Brigade. It was made <laughs> very apparent. He was just kind of staring into the middle distance. <laughs> Dex, I'm going to get the phone better, okay? Yeah, yeah, no worries. Um, uh, send your murder hobo my way and we'll talk, I, I guess. Um, but yeah, just you know, help them out, do what you can. Yeah. Um, We're all on the same side, even if we don't agree, so... Let's try not to die, you know? Ain't that the truth. We'll keep an eye out for Thorn as well still, so... Yeah, appreciate it. Are there any other missing kids that you know of? I got lists. Lists and lists for days, but some of them I think we can confirm might be gone. That's what we gotta talk to you guys about. Yeah. If you wanna prepare a list on paper or send a text over. So yeah. Have it. Yeah, I'll do that. Alright. It was lovely meeting you, Nell. I'll see you soon. Yeah. Nice meeting you. And she will go back to make sure Atticus is eating and drinking. Atticus is begrudgingly pausing to eat um, while William kind of relieves <laughs> him for a little while as uh, he comes into tent Kaede. Um, Adam kind of takes a step back um, after, you know, being convinced by Wraith. Okay, um, I'm going to go and, and take a nap, I guess. Um, if somebody anything will... happens, I'll... I'll come get you. Thanks. Um, okay. Um, and Adam kind of reluctantly and very slowly moves towards the door, uh, takes a look back, and then heads back out. And she will head towards the dorms. Lincoln's gonna take the second to break off and peer in on the care unit for Kira. Um, you find that Odd is kind of watching over her right now. Um, he'll look up and give you a little bit of a wave. Uh, hey, how are you? Why are you holding up? Just peachy. There is an amount of sarcasm in his voice. Noted. How about you? How's Charlotte? Doing better. Um, I mean, she still hits me with a stick, so she must be fine. 
Just remember, if it's if it's coming from the back, it's discipline. Yup. I know. Um, she's stable, but still not waking. I had a thought. No. Chair with the table. Well, so she's got the library. She's got access to the library cards people can go in i'm wondering if maybe she needs to be jarred awake from both sides you know not just shaking her on the outside not just the physical stimulus but maybe she needs a mental stimulus too maybe we need to do a brain dive or something have you brought this up with atticus yeah he's a little skeptical about it he said that the scholar has some concerns. It'd be nice if we could talk to said scholar, but yeah, but he is busy, you know. Yeah, I'm still getting used to the communion of voices, still. So let's. I get it. Man. I'm still only, you know, a couple years into knowing that this shit exists. So, and. I mean... I'm pushing 30. I was a skeptic before I finally had to bite the bullet. So. Well, you pick one of them or one of them picks you. Yeah. Skeptic you sound or like no. Ambria right now. <laughs> I don't know who that is, but thanks. She. She's good people. We definitely were on edge with one another a lot back in Red Acre, but he's good people. Oh, well, strong wills clash. Yeah. Um. What do you do? You know what would be required for that dive? Mm, somebody who's got some skill with. Uh, I guess they're called liminal spaces. I was sort of digging through one of Atticus's notebooks. Like it just looks down with like a god damn it. <laughs> what? So that might probably be me. I have a little bit of experience with it from the infection. Well, then we're going to need to figure out how to get you to lucid dream and uh, see if you can't maybe knock on the door. In a manner of speaking. If it's to help Kira get up, I'm going to do what I can. Well, we're going to be looking for some specific drugs to kind of facilitate it. Um, keep you kind of semi-conscious when you go under, you know what I mean? Do a quick insight check. Okay. Um, what are you inciting? Well, if Odd knows like what kind of medical supplies they're looking for, could Lincoln refer to the Silver Lily Clinic to see if maybe they pass by some uh stuff there? Sure. <laughs> because of that, can I apply proof with evidence as well? Yes. Okay. Um, is Quick Learner still active as well? I will say no, not anymore. Okay, that's fine. Basically. You you distinctly recall in some of the information that you collected about Project Harmony that a lot of the training quote unquote that they put these kids through was dosing them multiple times with a drug that kept them lucid while they slept um was likely no um no it was not it was um another cocktail of drugs that's kind of includes a list of just different sedatives and stimulants um that were sort of mixed together at different doses depending on uh, various factors within the kid's mind. Um, and you had seen that there had been a list of ingredients um, as you guys had found some of Scarlet's notes in, in the clinic as well. Um, and you had found that in her stuff. Uh, 
That's going to be a project for after we get the deliberative going. I will give you a nod. Yeah, first things first, the, the scrapyard, right? Scrapyard first, and then I'll probably assemble a, a small strike first when we go to the clinic to try to recover those medical supplies. If I'm being honest, if you guys had made noise when you were, you were there last, it's probably well defended now. I think it's going to be kind of a big group run if you're going to do this. You might need to fight your way in and fight your way back out again. It's the closest place you're going to find unless you guys want to venture further out, but that risks, you know. That risks us getting caught by the, by the talking heads. Uh-huh. Patrols are coming back with lots of not fun shit. Like sleeper campments and shit like that, you know? I'll bring it up during the deliberative. We'll see what we can find. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. I'm hoping that if we can figure out a way to get in, we can help her get out. This is... this is definitely food she won. There's also another confession I have to make. Hmm? Another well, reason why I came here is because I'm waiting for Benji to show up at any second. Benji? Meanwhile... <laughs> Then she probably has has he dragging Chance or or is Chance hovering over the espresso? Uh, Chance is definitely just puppy dogging behind Benji. He can hold the second cup of coffee. Benji probably made himself a quad as he's walking over. Speak of the devil. What? I didn't do anything this time. Oh no, you didn't. Uh, uh huh. I just figured you would be showing up here and a certain someone, he just leans to look at the hobo, would be following you. Yeah, he dragged me out of here last time. Yeah, probably because you actually needed to lay down. Eh, uh, minor details. The espresso machine works. He uh -huh. just starts sipping the coffee. He's just going to point a chance and put those espressos down. You can go talk to that man over there to talk about your little map project. Chance, I'll take the uh, the backup coffee. Chance is just going to hand over the backup coffee and put his own on the table because he knows that he knows Benji is just going to drink it anyway. <laughs> Who needs food when you have caffeine? This is just a fucking squint moment from Lincoln before Chance just walks up or walks he, off. He was holding my backup coffee. Once this is done, I'm jerking on that. Odd had an idea about how we might be able to get to Kira. I'm all ears. What's up? Basically, the short of it is someone here that's good with liminal spaces needs to undergo some training for lucid dreaming and basically knock on the other side to get her out. Okay. GM question. Yes. Is Benji good at lucid dreaming with the whole having problems dreaming or sleeping thing? You have caught yourself lucid dreaming a number of times in your attempts to go back and actually sleep again. Mm -hmm. um, so while you're not good at doing it intentionally, it is a thing that happens to you. Okay. Um... No. Not good on the whole liminal spaces, but I'm shit at apparently dreaming. I'm the complete opposite. Like, I don't really have control of lucid dreaming, but I know a lot about liminal spaces. There were some concoctions at the Silver Lily Clinic that we might be able to pick up, but you would have to make a war path to get in there and out. Okay. Unless there are some alternatives where we could probably find some other clinics in the North Territory where we have to deal with the talking heads. We're going to be dealing with talking heads no matter which way we go. It's not like the clinic was cut off from the song. It's not cut off from the song, but we did raid it before. So there's going to yeah. be more fortification there. Given what we ran into when we were out, I'm not sure there's gonna necessarily be a better place that's not gonna be also fortified. 
it's enough to make me really concerned about how organized we've got a problem of. Hey, Odd. Huh? Do you have a couple trackers that might be able to scout out the site? See if there's any cracks and crevices that we might be able to penetrate into the entire place? You mean for the... For the clinic. Big, oh, for, oh, for the clinic. Um, yeah, we could. Why don't we just use Saboteur and the Red Doors again? We can. But if there's another territorial advantage that we can get, that would make our job a lot easier. Not having to waste it would also be good. Because exactly. going in there, you might need it anyway. Point. So at least having a, a secure way in and out. Yeah, we can look. Thanks. We, anyone got maps of the area which would have the hospitals around here? We might be able to see if we can find what might be near distance. Sketch should. Okay. Well, I'll talk to Brian. You want me to do that or you got that? Otherwise, I... I'm also thinking of asking the owner hosts. They've been moving around a lot. Also real cagey. But, you know, given what happened inside, I don't exactly fucking blame them. Well, I kind of do, but I don't, you know? Oh, you guys uh, didn't hear about that, did you? What happened inside? Uh, well... According to the runner's contacts, the clown got... axed. Huh. Okay. So, By who? someone made their way into SACCON? Apparently. I'm still not clear on details, but uh, we know that he's dead. Oh, jeez. That's... There are a lot of ramifications that Lincoln can figure out from that, right? There's a few things that you can assume. So, not only did a, a pack of humans get into one of the most secure places in Red Acre, hiding the deepest secrets of the Talking Heads... They were able to bring another subservient in that followed a voice that is now imprisoned and getting their old tongue stripped of them. And we're able to get out. In that light, things in Red Acre are going to get bad. That is yeah. a, a, an assumption you can make very quickly. He just slumps on the wall. He just gives out a very weak-minded um look do you want the backup coffee benji holds out the the backup don't ask how many shots are in this um as you guys are talking the door opens again i think it's just gonna take the dirty bean go-go juice and chug it That's... actually i'm trying to make sure he doesn't overdose on caffeine lillian finds her way to a spot next to lincoln and like slides down next to him if you want to make sure he doesn't overdose on caffeine, stop him after about three more sips. There's like three shots in there. It's the backup cup. He just finished it, the entire cup already. <laughs> I'll have him run it off later. She smacks him with her uh, seeing eye stick. Excuse you. Benji just sort of salutes. I don't actually know if Benji knows who Lillian is at this point. By sight, at least. Don't worry, Lillian doesn't know who he is by sight either. That's great. <laughs> Given, you know. Given. Mm -hmm. Wait, 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 wait. So what, what are you guys talking about? Um, well, well the Joker's the dead. dead. Oh. oh? Yeah. I'm guessing, I'm guessing some posts or some kids. I don't know which ones. No, Lincoln has a very good idea of who it was. <laughs> he's just not he's just not actively saying anything. He's like, well, apparently someone well, got waking in to do the deed. A bit surprising, though I'm can't say I'm sad he's gone. I mean, I don't think anyone is, but the fact of the matter is someone was able to break into SADCON. Lane well, looks over to Kira. How's she doing? Still stable. Hmm. There is a, still out, still still stable, still out. But Odd here was concocting a plan. Of, What's the plan? 
Lincoln will go through the entire process again. Because <laughs> well, I'm not doing it a third time. <laughs> hey, third time's a charm now. <laughs> well, I think I know a person who's been practicing with dreaming. The person has a name, I'm hoping. But he's Me. sipping his coffee. You're Lillian, right? Yep. I don't recognize your voice. I'm Benji. Oh. Short stuff's brother. Is Lincoln going to have to restrain Lillian for a second? I expected you to sound different. She doesn't. Ha she doesn't have as much of a vicious hate for stalkers anymore. That died down a bit. Mm, you expected me to sound different. Yeah, more nerdy. No, I'm uh, the jock of the family. Look at just fucking stares at Benji. I'm not saying I don't believe you, but I'm just saying that's a low bar. Eh, I mean it's not a high bar. She's really short. He, did. he stole all of the height. He stole all of the height in the family. Uh, but I've been working with the Samaritan to reach out with my dreams since I can't really do a whole lot physically anymore. There's just a look of dread that goes over in Lincoln's face as he just tries to shake the pot out. If we can get what's needed. Just tell me what you need. We'll think on it a little more, but we got other priorities first. We gotta get the deliberative running yesterday, so. Yep. Once I can figure out this cocktail, yeah, then I'll uh, we'll, we'll figure it out and get and get her up. If you need any convincing from Atticus, let us know. We'll try to persuade him. Yeah, sure. I mean, well, yeah. I'm the same next of kin, so can't I just I don't know authorize it? It's not like you're gonna get Dad to sign off on shit. So, um, from behind you all. Given that your father is uh, otherwise indisposed, I wasn't planning to ask him. Um, Atticus is standing there. Uh, Lillian, hearing his voice, who's kind of acts very innocent, doesn't draw attention to herself. She is not getting her uh, check in right now. No, thank you. Oh, Benji is sipping his four shots of espresso. Lincoln mm. is just going to roll up his sleeves. All right. I got some more rounds to do, so I'll see you guys a little later. Time is of the essence, by the way. We still need to have that talk, Doc, or can I we'll go out of it again? There's still gonna there's gonna be a slight push from Lincoln as he's on his way out to get Benji a little closer. Lillian follows Lincoln because she is keeping an eye on him or a hand. Atticus kinda exhales. It can wait a little longer, but not much longer than that. Uh, I don't even know what you want to talk about, so... What is it you want to even ask? There was a lot that came back in the talks panel that we ran on your blood. In addition to some other observations. Oh, uh, that. But as I said, we can talk about them later. Yeah, Go on. All of it. you need to eat, and if I am not mistaken, you have a scrapyard to raid. Thanks for the um, help out there, too, by the way. Of course. The espresso machine works, at least. As he, start, as he just grab, goes to find chance. Oh, I am very aware. 
If SAO wants to cripple us, he just needs they just need to annihilate our fucking co our caffeine reserves. Nah, Kira would be fine. Benji. Benji though. Kindly do not. Please don't the cat. <laughs> Um, is Chance talking with Dax? Yes, he is going into full-blown, like, big-picture idea. Benji just kind of walks up behind, sipping the coffee, leans on his shoulder as he's talking and listens. Waves at Dax. Dax just kind of deflates a little bit. <laughs> but he's strapped in for the long haul. Um, and we'll follow Lincoln as he continues his check-ins. Um, where do you go and who do you check on next, Lincoln? Um, well, if people are... He's actually going to go, go out to the grounds. He's going to go check on Gene. Um, Lincoln, you go out and find Gene. Gene is um, working on some of the um, outside. Um, Gene, are you able to unmute? Or we can come back, Jane. Let's come that's back to Jane. Fine. Yeah, that, that's fine. All right, where do you go instead? Um, After he's finished up his stuff in the grounds, I feel like enough time has passed. He'll... Hmm. Who else is left? Baxter... Aurelia, Alex. He has a very good feeling Aurelia is going to be with the Hunter host, so he's just going to let that be for now. Okay. Um, what time is it? Um, It is getting to be about 8 a.m. ish. He's going to go see if everyone's awake. Okay. Um, it ha has been a couple of hours. Um, Baxter, have you awakened at 8 a.m. or are you still sleeping in further? Yeah, he'd be awake now. Okay, so Baxter is awake now. Um, everybody else is pretty much awake. Cool. Um, he'll just round about and he'll just let them know, hey, meeting at the breakfast table, see you guys in 20 minutes. Bet you we'll see if uh, Chance is going to be continuing to talk with Dax before he'll peel off. This is a very lengthy conversation and project, so yeah, he might be a little bit. I'll bring you notes afterwards, okay? Chance yeah, just gets the OK sign and a click of his tongue. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Lincoln, you go on making your rounds. Where do you go next? Um, you'll probably have to go figure out where Alex is and where she's working. Um, go ahead and just roll me a quick investigate. Lucky dokey. Um, it doesn't take you super long to find her um, once you kind of put it together that Alex is not in her room and she's probably trying to work on the uh, on the building some more, on the tower. Um, you know she's probably up on the roof working on the antenna. All right. Um, Alex, in the time that you've been up there, you've been able to kind of make a list of all the parts that you guys still need um, or uh, acceptable substitutes if you don't find the specific part. So you have all of that kind of ready to go um, as Lincoln makes it up onto the uh, onto the roof with you. Don't we have safety harnesses downstairs? Hey, you know us club kids. When do we care about safety? Um, Probably when we're not, you know, higher than 10, 11 Hoadley. Who's going to uh, glance over? Uh, so if you're here, that means you're checking on everyone. 
how are the injured? Dax isn't going anywhere for a little bit. Kaede is going in and out. Kira's stable, but still down, but odds oh, been cooking up an idea about something we might be able to try a little later. Mind keeping me in the loop on that idea? Yeah, I'll, I'll let everyone know when we get there, but priority first is making sure we get this deliberative running. What have we got so far? Well, I've got a very comprehensive list of what we need or what we can substitute in if we can't find what we need. All right. This is probably going to be an all or nothing run, just in case Mordecai shows up again. So, answer me honestly. Do you feel like you can pull off this mission if you're going to come along? Or do you need to set this one out? I don't see why I wouldn't be able to pull it off. He just points up to the neck. This it wasn't even that bad of a cut. Who exactly was the person that did that to you, by the way? Uh, I don't know, but he was a host of the Reaper. A he? Uh-huh. Mm. Did you pick but up on any details? Sounded British some way. Sounded what? British. British? I mean... That kind of, I couldn't tell you what kind of British, but just British. Not a lot of Brits out here. Um, and he made me say the Reaper's name. Hmm. All right. I'm, uh, Trying not to think what terrible consequences might be from that. Have you talked to any end mother hosts about this? They may have a better idea of who Reaper hosts might be. I've told the end mother herself and she's gonna look into it, but the end mother told you that the, the person in question did not sound familiar and so she is asking around. I even she didn't recognize who this person was. I might still ask around just to be safe. I'm sure there's something, even if it's not just from where you might directly think. But we'll keep an eye out for them. How's your leg doing? Uh, do I? After this long, do I need to roll any physiques for it? Um... Go ahead and yeah, go ahead and roll me a physique. I'll let you roll with advantage. Um since you've been kind of working on it. The physical therapy that you've been in has really helped. Um and so your your leg feels pretty okay. Um I mean it's never it's never ever gonna be a hundred percent, but it feels closer to 70% today than it may have a couple of days ago where it felt closer to like 40. So you're feeling and doing okay today. Um, it'll it's better than the last time we did a mission, so turns out actually attending physical therapy, not dropping it, makes a difference. Huh. Turns out. Who would have thought? Yep. Hey, are you reaching a stopping point here? Yeah, I got the list made of what we're gonna need to look for. Cool. Come on down. We're gonna go grab some breakfast. And she's yeah. going to scamper her way on down. I was going to offer to get get your breakfast, Lincoln, but uh, I'm it's not fine. trusted to carry plates anymore. Not after what happened last time. Huh. Again, who would have thought? I can do it. I know my way around. I just didn't know someone left a pipe on the floor. Alex just looks at Lillian. It's fine. We usually have our meetings during breakfast anyway, so let's go. Can you please be careful and not get yourself hurt again? Uh, but I get so many good memories from healing. Like that not one time Baxter Lillian. poked my cracked wit ribs. Okay, I'll be careful. Thank you. Thank you. Because, uh, yeah, I don't know. Please don't, not again.
All right, you guys start making your way down towards the cafeteria. Um, where do you head next to check in with your team, Lincoln? Um, is Jean still having driver issues? How we doing, Jean? Still having Awful. some issues. Um, okay. okay. Um, so Lincoln, I will we'll say that you go out to get Jean. Um, and Jean, once you're able to vocally participate, you can jump in um, or switch to your phone, whichever um, would be perfectly fine. Um, either way, uh, G Lincoln comes out to, to fetch you, Jean. And he'll probably just take a hot second to check on Izzy as well. Okay. Um, Izzy is out there with Jean. Um kind of sitting on a pile of supplies, just kind of swinging her legs and watching. And from time to time, she hands Jean things um, that she has asked for. That's too adorable. I, I can't. No. I'm just gonna... Just gonna let Izzy do Izzy, and I'm just gonna pull Jean aside, and it's like, it's breakfast time. Okay. Um, Jean, you are informed that it is breakfast time, and uh, you guys... Begin making your way up to the base. Um, Izzy will hop down and help uh, make way towards the cafeteria. Um, where do you head next? He's got to grab Skyer. Okay, you go and track down the hunter host then. Yeah, this will be fun. <laughs> God, roll me an investigate. Uh, we'll call this difficulty four. They tend to roam. Jesus! <laughs> is That's an omen! I have a question. When you're done laughing, I have a question. <laughs> Alright, what's your question? Since Benji had also mentioned that he was going to talk to them too, um, can Benji be looking for them? Sure, you can also roll me an investigate. Okay. Would you like to also give me an omen? No. But I'll roll an investigate. Go ahead and roll. Uh, Benji, you can find them. Lincoln, you have to be led there. Because they're not where they were. Uh, but together you are able to find the hunter host. By the power of two. <laughs> Benji has managed to... He dropped and then rejoined and found... They're... Are you, if you're looking for them, they're, they're this way this time. They moved again. Ah... Uh. Use my usual time. I got a slip. Okie dokie. Don't die. Yep. Alrighty. I like how the hat just stays there. Jack is still with us in spirit. Jack is still with us in spirit. Jack is in the in the cafeteria making breakfast. Um, yep, and that's why the hat's there. Setting out the platter. Um, so Lincoln um, and Benji, you guys make your way to the hunter hosts. You see Aurelia with them. Um, the hunter hosts are kind of muttering to each other. There's a map open on a table as you find them in one of the other sort of uh, smaller, more obscurely tucked out of the way break rooms um, or lounge rooms sort of situation. Um, Am I able to use eavesdropper in this situation while we're approaching? Uh, you got to roll stealth first because they're listening at all times for you and anybody that might be approaching. So As I'm they gonna are do, hunter hosts. I'm going to do the same thing, actually. You're going to roll stealth? Oh, Jesus. I also have eavesdropper. Oh, Jesus. All right, we'll roll your stealth first. Um, I'm... If you boost, they boost. I'm looking, actually, can I just re-roll? Okay, what do you want to re-roll with? Uh, I meant. Hold on, I have to. I have to grab the right list. Um, because he's trying to sneak up on Hunter Host. Would challenges or fun actually count? Sure. Is there a way that I can change into a health action? Um, I will say that in this case, no, because okay. the two of you are trying to sneak up. Uh, there is no that way this is. Drop. I wouldn't re-roll that then. There is no way I'm spending a re-roll on this. Okay. Oh, I made it worse. Yeah, It I was know. worth a try. Uh, as the two of you try to slip up and, like, 
get near the door, you hear them hush and they stop talking. Um, and as you round the corner, uh, they're kind of waiting for you expectantly. Um, Aurelia, you're sitting with them. You've been listening to them talk kind of the whole time. Um, Aurelia, you know that they're talking about um, what to do after the deliberative, whether or not they want to start going after um, the sires directly, or if they want to see if maybe they can help out with the mapping project. Um, but also there is another task that they have been ordered to undertake. And they have been very careful not to expressly name that task, uh, even with you around. Um, but you see that Lincoln and Benji walk in. Benji just kind of waves. He realized with the silence, it was worth a try. We're just looking to take Skylar. We, we need to get together to work on this last bit of the scavenge raid. I've actually got a question I wanted to ask you guys for a favor. Um, the the woman who you had seen before, who seems to kind of a, to be the ringleader, um, she's a little bit older, uh, kind of folds her arms. What do you need? If you guys have run into any medical places on your way in, any hospitals or clinics that might have some supplies. Hmm. All right. If you give us a list, we'll keep an eye out. Thanks. As soon as we've got it from the dock, I'll pass it over. You guys need anything? They all kind of exchange glances. You and yours are going after the scrapyard, yes? Probably, yeah. What's up? Can you bring us back some spare parts? Give us a list. Do you mind if I ask what for? They all glance towards each other again. Right, that's the hunter's business. I think it just inhales, but just rugs. All right. Can't force you to make that choice not to tell us, so. If you guys need it, you need it. We're here to help everyone, so. Get the list. We'll have it before we get out. Hi. Um, and they start making a list. Um, Aurelia, uh, what are you doing? Um, she probably was mainly sitting around to listen to the hunter host. And with Benji and Lincoln having arrived, she probably stood up to to slowly make her way over to them. Aurelia, as you're walking your way over towards them, go ahead and roll me a will save real quick. Okay. You start walking towards them and you feel the air begin to vibrate a little bit. Um... And it sort of hits you like vertigo for a moment as you're walking towards them, um, as you hear strings from a great distance again, but you're able to sh just kind of force yourself past it and you make your way over to Lincoln um, and to Benji. It, is this something that's visibly yep. seen? Yeah. yeah. Well, is this? I was about to say, is this something noticeable? Uh, would you have tried to conceal the the strange feeling so uh Aurelia um yeah, probably not as much with her being around the hunter host and people she knows so you probably saw her pause for a moment and shake her head um to clear it hey hey you okay you good um if i would say yes then i would be lying it kind of feels like Stock your days right there in the middle of it all. Uh, okay. Um. Even still, right now. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's keep a watch on that, right? One of the hunter hosts approaches you, Lincoln, and hands you a list. 
um, you see that the list is mostly like basic mechanical parts, um, fuses, wiring, pipes, that kind of thing. Um, nothing particularly unusual, um, except that it is hunter hosts and that they won't say what they're doing. No comment. Um, that was just a random for me. Please do not count that as anything. <laughs> Lucky for you, it's not a tick. Um, just barely, just barely. Just kind of very subtly, as like you haven't happened to her hear anything from in town, have you? They exchange glances. Uh, go ahead and roll me either a rapport or an empathy, Lincoln. Um, can I help? You can give Lincoln the help action. Okay. Thank you. Oh my god, thank you. Um, <laughs> can I activate Quick Learner again because this is a new scene? Um, yes, you can activate your stunt if you'd like, or your your deck if you'd like to. <laughs> cool. I'm gonna go ahead and utilize empathy. Okay. Uh, rapport and mm, was notice also on that list uh, empathy or rapport I know I, I can boost three I have maximum level oh nice yeah so they just have to be below yeah. the two or below yeah so uh, empathy rapport and we'll go ahead and do four as well Okay. So, I'm rolling with advantage. So that's a three. Okay. Um, one of the hunter hosts kind of exhales. Unfortunately, no. Okay. Every time we try to get information from in town, our signal gets cut. Okay. We heard something happened. There's a rumor going around that. Our hunt was not successful. The only information we got from the rest of our pack is that somebody broke an agreement. And things uh, might change. That doesn't sound good for the person that broke that. We don't know. We don't know who it was or why. Huh. Alright. We've got to get information from inside anyway, so... Yeah. We are getting ready to go out on a raid, if you would like us to keep an eye out. Where are you headed to raid? We were headed to town. Over to Harrisonburg? They nod. He's going to look over to Benji. Is there anything that we needed from Harrisonburg? We already got the bell. We got parts from Alpha Site. Is there anything else? General supplies is probably about most of what we need. General if supplies. you can... Get an idea. Take note of how the town itself is responding after we blew through a while back. What they've changed. We can do that. Um, I think one of ours was also looking for any site plans or layouts of maybe maze entrances or something like that. So yeah. If find that too. That'd be great. If there if you've got anything or if you can't get anything off of them, I have a bad feeling about the only way we're going to really get that, but that's yeah. a later problem. If um, you can't find anything about the maze and how the makers are doing shit, uh, kind of be helpful for all of us to know. We'll see what we can find. Um, Scarlet and Mordecai are on the move, so just be my shit. They exchange glances again. You saw him then? I saw Scarlet 
Oh no, I saw Mordecai. He points at Aurelia. We both did. That was Eclipse again. Yeah. Interesting. Benji just scratches his head. It was like, oopsie! Benji just kind of has a look over and was like, ah, don't worry about it. <laughs> We've got more processing problems. He came back. He is not doing what we thought he was doing. No. He wanted something. But he didn't... He got what he wanted and he didn't need anything else. What did he want? He hit her with something, but... There were two puncture marks. You think he took blood, too? So that's two blood extracts. One from a gambler host and one from a hunter host. I mean... Alex got cut, too. That's right. Probably so, looking at three. Who is she hosting? Three. She is a and chosen she for... Got... Yeah. And mother host, and uh, apparently a host of the Reaper got her at night point. Are they looking for getting blood from everyone who was involved in the binding? It's possible. This is a shot in the dark. I I don't think you guys would know this, but do you happen to know about any reaper hosts that might be from the United Kingdom that might have made, it, made their way over here or have some history in this region? Um. Do you have a description? There are a lot of people from the, the United Kingdom. Unfortunately, I don't. We can, it was some form of British accent, but Alex wasn't able to discern it. But it was too dark to really catch anything. We know it was a male, but that was it. A little too broad a category. Yeah. We need something more concrete, a description of some kind. We'll get one. Well, I'm going to let everyone know about what happened, so if we get in more information, if we have more evidence that we can log, we'll share it with all the hosts. I'll make sure I have something a little more detailed during the deliberative. The Reaper's guys... hosts are impossible to track. Why? It will be very difficult to do so, unless this is a dedicated host. The Reaper often forces dual hosts upon her. Her victims. So, unless it's someone who's just a soul, that's gonna be a problem. Lincoln is gonna casually side-eye over to Aurelia. Aurelia, you were being side-eyed. She looks back at the side eye. He just has a very downtrodden, a little sad look towards her. It's definitely not aimed at Aurelia, but it is mainly at something correlated to Aurelia. Jace. Yes. Hold on a second. Um, force hosts. And it's really hard to detect otherwise. Like what? It, is there any shift or change that can be noted? Because uh kind of got a concern, you know. Not frequently, at least not in any consistent manner. The few times we have ever encountered her hosts, they were borrowed. Is there any way to... Anomalies, I believe, is what you call them. Yeah. But you just kind of adjust the scarf. It's just like, yeah. They suck. Is, is there any way to sever the dual connection? If you wake them when they are, as you call it, blacked out... Enforce her hand. Uh, 
Her blackouts are unique in that you can see them when they are active. As believers and as children, you have that ability. All black eyes. Okay. All black. But he just kind of sips his coffee. Um, Hamilton. Mm. Uh, once we're done here, we've got a question for you. Yeah. Um. GM, I have a question for you. Yes. Is Lincoln able to at least get a general idea of what happens if he tries to relay the information that he knows about the race of the clown? You mean what would their reaction be? Yes. Uh, roll me an insight. I'm going to use an Aurelia specialty for there is bullshit afoot. I will say in this case, no, because Aurelia also does not know a lot about what happened at the race. Okay. I'll just take the three, I guess. You're not sure that they would react positively to the news? Um, of what you are aware of? It'd probably be best for Hunt the Strong himself to leave that that bit of news. Okay. They might be the, the type to shoot the messenger. Okay. And then it's just gonna nod like I I don't think there's anything else to really go over here. Well, we've got the list and if you find anything, places, possibilities, we'd appreciate it. Um, the Hunter House will nod. Fine. Lincoln will offer a hand on, like, hey, good luck on your raid. And you. He will awkwardly withdraw the hand and slowly turn on his heels. It's like, all right, breakfast time, let's go. <laughs> Benji just sort of salutes with the coffee as he turns and sips it. Okay. Hey. Um, and so you head off. Um, you still need to collect Baxter. Was Baxter moseyed his way over. Um, Baxter, did you stay in your room or did you go somewhere else when you had gotten up? Unless Baxter has died. Baxter. Baxter. Well, he's dead. Oh, yeah. Uh... An I'm F in the to... chat for Baxter. Yeah. F. I'll just also go what? ahead and make a note that I'm... Oh, hey! He's here! He's alive! <laughs> yeah. I'm here. We've been calling your name for several minutes. Sorry. Uh, did Baxter stay in his dorm, or did he wander off anywhere? Did you go to the cafeteria when you got up? Where are you right now? I went to the cafeteria. Okay, so you're already there. Yes. Okay. Because food. You uh... You head towards the food. I'll also make a note that Lincoln's going to double back to make sure he picks up Wraith, and uh, if Adam has spoons, pull Adam as well. Adam went to the dorm uh, that she shares with Coyote and is now asleep. Lincoln's just going to leave her be. He'll he'll leave a note for her later. Okay. Before they pick up Wraith, Bungie just want to... So, um, real, real fast, Hamilton. Something they said about Reaper hosts. Yeah. How they're shared. Mm -hmm. And they don't know. Yeah. We got hunted. We don't yes. have any way of knowing that the hosts here aren't sharing now. And they wouldn't know if they are. And they wouldn't be here at all. Hi. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Don't quibble about the coffee. Mm. Oh, come on. I'm 
just letting you know that shit's gonna make your heart explode. But anyway. So if any of them were dual, they wouldn't be able to be here? I can't look at the mirror or be in it. I added her to the list. So the death room doesn't give her enough of a foothold to stay in, even though barriers up. Only in that room. Words work two ways. Hmm. Well, Alex, at least that. Alex yeah. said her name. It may mm-hmm. not actually directly. Would that directly impact her? No. Probably means she's got eyes on her. Well, that's a no-brainer, but... Mm, We've kind of got enough things with eyes on us that that's not going to be any different. No. Something we're going to have to get used to for a while. There are kids. I've been having to deal with eyes on me for the past two years. It's just more. It's not that big of a deal. Nah. Makers are shit. Mm-hmm. Everything's fucking shit. Let's be real. Mm-hmm. It's gonna reach for any can of soda that there's there in the common room open and just casually sip. <laughs> You took three of my espresso shots and now you're having that? Why aren't you yelling at him? Because I don't make it my lifestyle. Uh, he also isn't my host. Eh. Oh. Yeah. Science, it's not Mr. Pitt. It's not even that great. Okay. There's uh, something wrong with that one. There's a list usually, right? Why would that one be any exception? It's just another very casual sip. <laughs> all right. And so you all go to rendezvous at the cafeteria. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Why don't we go ahead and take a quick five to ten minute break there? Um, everybody can get refreshed on drinks and snacks and so on and so forth, and then we will move into the planning portion. Um, and you guys can start getting ready for what might be a rough run. Um, so we'll be right back. We.
Welcome back, everybody. Woohoo! We turn our attention towards the cafeteria where everyone has now gathered. Um, in lieu of having um, Kaede or Adam's help, as both of them are otherwise indisposed, um, Nell has agreed to um, jump into your guys' team for a little while and help you out. Um, and so Nell is here as well. All of you have gathered and uh, you know that you have uh, a plan to make. So um, I'll, we'll turn it over to Lincoln. Um, you address the team. All right, let's, let's get started with some business. First, got a new face at the table. This is Nell. Everybody say hi, Nell, be friendly. I have a question if Nell is a stalker hunter. Uh-huh. Is that someone Benji recognizes? Um, Nell, roll me a random. Uh, no, it is not. Oh, good. Benji just loves his coffee and salute. Hey. She just kind of waves awkwardly. <laughs> Nell here will be running with us on a couple missions until we get our numbers back. Um, so create her with the same amount of respect as you would with anyone else on this team, please. Speaking of those that are down, Kaye's condition is up and down. Um, Doctors are doing what they can to help her recover. Kira is still down, but stabilized. Though Odd has been thinking about a plan of possibly being able to help wake her up. That plan being, we would need someone that has an ability to lucid dream and create liminal spaces to basically, basically be able to go on the outside of her brain library and be able to knock on the other side to be able to pull her out. To do this, um, we're going to need some medical chemicals and drugs, one of which the only location that I know that we can pick that up from right now is back at the clinic. But that's going to be an operation for after what we have to currently work on, and that is we need to get some remaining parts from Scav Site Bravo. Given the altercation that happened last time with Team Bravo and Mordecai, this is now going to be a full front pickup because the Talking Heads will probably be able to take over that more with more active lucids and sleepers. Mordecai may still be around. And we're on the point of where we're going to be running out of time. So, with that in mind, Alex, you have a list for us of what we need to pick up. What do we need? Just gonna, um, slide the list over across the table to show them. So, top bunch is basically the optimal. Bottom bunch is what we can use as substitutes. Benji, really, Wraith, yeah. you guys were there at the site. Do you mm -hmm. still have a general idea of the layout of the junkyard? Like, if you were able to visualize it, do you know where we could pick all this up? Let me look at the list and see. Would that be an investigate? It'll be an investigated disadvantage. Okay. You remember where things had been. You don't know if things will have been moved by the time you go back, but you have a general idea about where you could look within the within the scrapyard itself. Um, you guys had remembered that um, a lot of it was very neatly sort of separated, um, that there was a section where they were disassembling cars and another section where they seemed to be disassembling other pieces of machinery. Um, and all of them, had, they had kind of started to stack or pile. So I've got a pretty good idea of where things were, but... Um... Since it's pretty likely they know what we're looking for, things might have gotten moved around. But at the least off of this, yeah, I can point where it should be. Uh, 
Plus, they've hopefully cleared the guardhouse of the um, bodies by now. Did we mention the bodies? He sips his coffee. I can't remember if we mentioned the bodies. No, I don't think we mentioned the bodies. The junkyard might be a little hot, if only because um, the people who'd been staffing it before got killed by crazy fucks. And we're eating them, so. Uh, I'm sorry. Look. Welcome to outside of Red Acre. It's somehow worse than inside or better. Maybe it depends on a flip of the coin right now. Is this the first she's heard of people eating people? Uh, it is the first time you've heard about the, the weird cannibalism bit. Um, you guys have seen some of the demon dogs, and so that's not as big a thing for you. But monsters eating people, that is new. Right. If it helps, we... I'm pretty sure we killed the three that were doing it, but there might be more. But you just is not very good at uh, being concerned right now. <laughs> you kind of get used to it? Or you don't? Uh. I'm not sure that's something you just get used to. Sure it is. You get used to the maze. You get used to this. So, you guys need to make a plan for going at the scrapyard. How much reinforced plating were we able to get out the first time? Fortunately, the other team was able to get quite a lot of, of just like metal sheets and plates from the scrapyard in Harrisonburg. Um, and so you were able to get enough to repair most of the antenna. The dish still needs repaired. And that's what you need now is, is largely metal plating, shielding. Um, um, I'm more thinking of a, of a slightly different use. Um, okay. You think we could borrow... Damien Summer. I think that would be a question for Damien. Because if we can, we could just... I mean, if we know that we're gonna probably get found, and we might as well just do a grab and go, we could just, you know, bulldoze the fence over. Atticus did a really good job the first time. We've got both. If we, if we do that, we have both the Hummer, and then I can also bring the flatbed as well. Then you know. Once we pull down the gates down, it might work out. We could ask Lawrence, but we need to see if he's doing all right. I was just mostly thinking the Hummer because then we've got good reinforcements. We could just shove on the front of it, kind of use it like a very focused plow yeah what about all the wards and if we really want to piss people off we could break them but wouldn't that require us chopping down like every tree on the way there no focus on the ones around there they did something weird though right well they looked at me yeah, aside from that. Uh, Jim, mm -hmm. aren't some of the wards actually made in negative space, too? Uh, yeah, sometimes they are. We might not be able to do that, but we could try breaking the ones at least immediately around the area that we're going to once we get there. As some of the wards are that'll negative space move and they snap into sight thing. But I'm kind of in the mood to piss things off, so...
Is that Dice Daddy talking or Punch Daddy talking? That's the fact that Hamilton over there, he points, drank my backup coffee. You offered it. I didn't think you were going to down all of that in one go. Spoilers! You will. Yeah, I know now. It's great. Anyway. If we can load in an obvious, get the flatbed in there as well, we might not do bad with pulling more than just what's on the lists. Which brings up another point. Lincoln pulls out a second list for everyone to see. We've been requested to pick up some supplies for the Hunter House. Something to help them out with their own project. Can Alex look at that and get a glance at what they're trying to make? The parts on the list are so kind of mundane and random that it's very difficult to make any conclusion as to what they're trying to make with it. Mm. Um... Someone else can grab that stuff. I'm not doing that for the hunter. Okay. You know we'd be dead if it's not for the hunter, right? I'm not going to trust that freak. You didn't have to, but he helped you live. All the he voices didn't. helped us get out, including him. He didn't help me at all. He's only hurt people I cared about. You he would have her, hey. and he points to her like, hey. alive. Now is not the time for arguments, okay? They yeah, well, it's time help. someone told her that she's being dumb, okay? We'd all be in a dreamscape still. All of the voices helped us, including the hunter, and he didn't have to. No one made him do it. I'm not trusting them. I'm not helping them. Then you're a bigger hypocrite than you're accusing him to be. I'll take that one, Hamilton. Thank you, Benji. They've offered to look for some of the places with the supplies that Odd needs. Yep. So this is very much a... You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Dax will probably be sending... God. I cannot remember from the 30 minutes ago that we were talking about but the plans for Dax. Shit. <laughs> Dax is going to be working with uh, Chance, right? Dax is going to be working directly with Chance. I think the club kids were going to be probably helping a mix between that and probably collecting some more information. I'm trying to do some of the scouting around for us since we can't necessarily ourselves in all the areas. Yep. Um, we got some tracker hosts that are going to be looking to scope out the clinic to try to find a way in and out. So we'll be prepared for that. Um, so we've got this if we can get the flatbed we might be able to pull I'm kind of leaning towards once we make this last strike on that we're not going to be able to afford risking going back it might be worth hauling anything that we think might be useful out on that flatbed That way we can have it in case we need it and we won't be able to go back. Er what was that now? Are you saying something now? I 
F in chat. Hi, I might be muted. Or dead. Uh, possibly dead. There we go. You started dead to say can... something, so Benji's been asking if Nell was saying something. Oh, no, I I was talking to myself. No. Sorry. Okay. Um, if you don't mind, Nell, no, who do you uh, run with? For He gestures vaguely with his free hand up to the sky. Who do I run with? The Samaritan. She runs oh. with the Samaritan. Cool. He gives oh. a very, very knowing look to Benji of like, Benji just sips the coffee. You can yeah. Lincoln. We're. It's nice working I, with you. I don't think we're going to run together much. He from. He just kind of points over. Does she know the risk about the Happy Meal? Happy? She looks like every time Benji talks, she's just getting more confused. Okay, this is his so gift. here's the breakdown of it. Greed wants the gambler, the tracker, and the hunter. The tracker and the hunter, so they can create Armageddon again. Um, basically, God, I can't even remember. The Devourer, I think, was their mask name. I mean, there's probably a couple. Something like that's probably pretty old, right? But the um, Greed also has a serious hate boner for the gambler. Is the best way to I'm put noticed. it. I've noticed. Um, he is also really, really wanting to overwhelm and overpower the Samaritan. So, in an effort to avoid that confluence again, I am making sure that those three he points at Benji, Wraith, and Aurelia, like, if applicable, are at least, like, not in the same space, because that hey. could be another disaster, but if it comes down to it, I will put you together again. Hey, I'm just, hey, I'm not part of the vortex problem, at least. You're still a part of the hate boner problem. That was almost instinctive. What has a dick. Yeah. Oh my god. It really fucked that guy. I, I I just feel like there's a moment where we were just listening to that and all the remaining World of Dice hosts that are around Haven were just in unison. Fuck that guy. <laughs> <laughs> just like every one of them. <laughs> anyway. Um, there's something I should probably also bring up that we should be a little more aware of. On Team Bravo, Aurelia got poked twice with the needle. One. Uh, Lincoln knows about the injection, right? Yes. One was an injection into Aurelia. There's a second poke that we believe might have been an extraction. Um, on Alpha Team, Alex was held at knife point. There was a cut there. And may have dropped some blood. And on... Bell team. Well, he just vaguely gestures that a certain someone is not with them right now. Scarlet got to her. I'm really sorry about y'all's friend. And yeah, we are too. But the point I'm trying to make here is in those three locations. They are able to extract blood from a hunter. Blood from someone that has been following the end mother. And blood from someone that was a gambler. And all three of them were also in the situation of everything that we've been doing out here in the RQZ. Scarlet's planning something. There's no doubt in my mind that they're probably working on some sort of reagent to work with the Reaper. It might not even only be that too, because um, pet boss, isn't that a whole lot of the people involved in the binding? Yeah, so they could be planning a, a 
I think they might be working on something with that. It might be broken, but that doesn't necessarily mean that everything related to it. Yeah. Or they might just want revenge. Revenge well, well, is probably the likely is a uh, bad. Yeah. No. Can we go piss on his Wheaties? I mean, we're already doing that by breathing, so, you know. Lika mm-hmm. just casually looks over to Benji and like, how many shots were in that espresso? Because you are in a fucking mood today. <laughs> this one has four. You are in That's a not... fucking mood. I have That's never seen you like this. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah, you probably didn't get a lot of stories from uh, Slinky, so... I mean, Mordecai did make it a lot worse, so... The mood is justified. It is wholeheartedly justified, but god damn. Um... Alright. I mean, have y'all talked to anyone that was there? Did the... What, whatever they're called, did they say anything when they were attacking them, or mm. do we know? Well, Mordecai was a little talkative when we were dealing with him. He got what he wanted, and he left. And that's all. There was also a whole bit about, hey, give up the worms in your head, and that will make this easier, but um, that might have just been foreplay talk. Uh, uh, if that's his idea of sweet talk he's got a southern accent so I guess the idea is to focus on the sound of the words and not the words themselves my uncle taught me about that 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 feels racist I don't know why that just feels racist but you're not wrong either way they at least Mordecai didn't actually go out of his way to do everything he could have. No. He wanted what, the other... what he got from Aurelia. What about the other two? Yeah, he looks over at Alex, Baxter, and Jane. You guys had the Reaper host, right? Yeah, we did. How fast did he leave? Um, as soon as he got what he wanted. My contribution, as he put it. Okay. Jack and... Fuck. My last chance. Did you hook the hobo up with a phone? He's refusing it. If I have to have one of these things, he has to have one. It's only fair. We're trying. Trust, trust. We're trying. No, no, no. I'm just gonna slip it in his pocket. He might just it. Get one of those notes from Kia. You know, they're indestructible, right? Hang on a sec. Oh. Ah, hang F. on. Uh, Discord is memory leaking again. Give me mm. one sec. Ah, yeah. Um. Okay. Aubrey, go ahead and say something. Any better? Yep. It was the stream. Neat. Okay. Just sec. So Discord, just so everybody knows, has a memory leak. I'm watching chat, and when they tell me that it's happening, I'm having to stop the stream and restart it. So everybody go ahead and jump back in. Oh, okay, okay. Oh. <laughs> now. Okay. I think we are good. Uh, Aubrey, say something for me. Is this any better? Or am I still log sounding? 
Yep, it's good. Okay, we're good. Okay, cool. All right, proceed. <laughs> uh, Lincoln, Lincoln, you were asking about the host, I believe. Yes. Um, well, Benji was asking about the host, if I recall correctly. He's yeah. Just collecting what we know. Yep. And realizing that we don't have anyone immediately around to be able to report the confrontation with Scarlet's details right now. So Jack is making coffee. Hopefully. Chance is here. Has Chance wandered back in finally? Or is he still with Dax? Chance. Um, that depends on how how well is the conversation going. Um, it probably went fairly well. Um, but Dax would have likely insisted that everybody go and get food. Well, Chance will probably have slumped his way to the other head of the table. Chance. You have got Dang to it. take a phone. Uh... But question for you. The red one, Scarlet. Mm -hmm. How fast did she get out of there once she got stuff? Let me put it this way. He leans forward with his hands on the tables like he's about to tell a horror story. This woman is able to clack her heels in dirt. That's um kind of impressive, but really <laughs> beside the point. No, but that's the whole point. She is basically a fictional character. If you put her in a cartoon, she's probably running like the road runner. She did chase me across snow one time in heels. That's, huh? Well, not full snow, more like icy ground, but you know, same thing. No, oh, great. So she's a cartoon villain and um, good on a runway. Did she clear out fast? Did she look like she got something? Do you know? Lincoln's going to chime up with that one. She definitely got something. Because I saw her when I was driving out with the flatbed with Ock. Okay, so all three of them saw something, and all three of them, after they got it, made a choice to withdraw. Oh. Yeah, okay. I would have to assume that there is some sort of concoction that Scarlet has to be working on. I I cannot think otherwise that they're doing this all of their own volition. They, the facts are just too blatantly clear there. There are two puncture spots in Aurelia's neck, the sliver cut on Alex's throat, and the extraction from Kaede's chest. Like that, it's plainly obvious that they all extracted something. We know that Scarlet and Mordecai are working together. We know that the Reaper has the idol on as a pet. So it would make sense that if it was a full chosen host of the Reaper, they would be in cahoots with Mordecai and Scarlet. There's there's no other way around it. Whoever this mystery guy is, we need to figure him out soon. Question for the GM. Yes. Do we know about Jack? Um becoming a not no jack had got stabbed by scarlet yes because kaede's was uh not usable she needed a different sample i remember that yes do we know that too did chance relay that or did Chance see that? I'm sure Jack has probably relayed that information. I don't think I would he would have kept a feeling. That himself. I think that Chance might have saw that, but it was probably too dark to really figure out what's going on. But I feel like if Jack was at the table, that would be something that he would relay. 
Yes. So I, I will say I'm fairly confident that Jack would have relayed that information. Yes, Jack is not one of the ones who hides details from us all. Yes. Jack is an honest cowboy. Mostly. Most of the time. So the odd thing out is Jack. Jack, uh, Chance saw... Wait, no, 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 no. Lincoln... Yeah, no. Um, Lincoln was able to tell um, on their ride back with Jack in the back of the flatbed. Um, he was able to understand that there was something made with the judge, right? Yes. Okay. So, another thing. Sorry to out tell you like this, Jack, but I, I'm guessing there was some sort of made deal with the judge. And I don't know if that was before or after the extraction, but and that would point to another point of, like, they're pulling... They're drawing blood from chosens and hosts of voices that were at the binding. It might be just a coincidence right now. We don't really have enough information, but it's possibly an identifier, at least. It's an identifier, but... There is something clearly troubling, Lincoln. Oh. What's eating you up, Chief? I know Scarlet's going to be doing something with this, with these blood samples. The question is, where is our new base of operations? Well, we're going to have to hunt for that. Yeah. So that's going to be a problem for another time. Northern, north up. Uh, that's Makers, right? South Down, we don't know. South Down is Greedon Island territory. North side is Talking Heads. So, probably a decent bet that they're that way. Mm -hmm. Which means, once we get the tower running, we've got to figure out which direction we want to focus. We also can't rule out that they're done. No, they're mm. far from done. But that brings up another point that you guys need to be aware about. Something that happened inside Red Anchor. A group of people are able to break into SACCON. They're able to kill the Joker. What? Hmm. Good riddance. I mean, yeah, good riddance. Fuck that guy, but... But, again, I'm going to repeat this. A they team was able to break into, into Sakon. That's not an easy thing. Not only is it an easy thing, they were also able to get out. Otherwise, we never would have been able to have been told about this. That's gonna fuck things over real bad inside of town. No way are the Makers going to be happy about that. Not at all. Which means they're probably going to further accelerate their plans for Red Dawn. Which means we have to focus on the tower. We've got to get that run done. Yep. So, there's that, which also means that there's a very high possibility we either the Harmonies are going to be focusing more in town, or there's going to be more that we might be able to learn. Maybe we'll look out and be able to figure out something about what's going on if we can get to that scrap. That's going to kind of give us an idea of how responsive the voice is going to be out here. Yeah. Are there any further plans that we got to make in the scrapyard? Probably a cloak on the way there. When we were leaving, I did notice the wards on the trees as we left. 
we could probably try warding. The Hummer should still be warded from our original soul. It may have to be repaired. I don't know how long it would take to ward the flatbed, though. Dead boss? How long would that take? Mm. Bear trap. Think we got enough time for that? Probably. Okay. Why don't we try to get both of them warded up before we go out? So, flatbed. Sorry, Hamilton. I might just ask Lawrence to pull it if he's willing. Reef we need all hands on deck. Reef's gonna slide Link in his phone. Oh yeah, uh, took a picture of the thing we ran into when we got there. It's not very good, but he'd show it to him. Lincoln's gonna take a look at it. Um, they bear the similarities that you have seen on anomalies in the past where their skin is like matte black, almost dimensionless. Mm -hmm. Um, with the exception that like this one's bone structure seems to have been modified slightly. Um, higher cheekbones, the like, as far as you could tell, there was no nose or mouth, um, and there were barely visible orbital sockets, um, that there were pitch black, like black as a black hole, black eyes in, in the sockets, um, that like almost absorb light. It's not a comfortable thing to look at. Like their fingers are a little bit elongated. Um, they've got talons almost for nails. They look wrong. And this is all constricted and conformed from a human skeleton, right? That's what it looks like. And it had a human bite pattern, right? Um, kind of. Its teeth were a little sharp for a human's bite pattern, but it's the well, human shape, yes. Yeah. I don't know if Remember Thy Name actually worked on this, but it's something that if we have enough time to try, it could be executed. Well, I did stun it with bear mace, like all these veins started popping out of its face. It didn't like it, but it couldn't attack me either. So there's something... Well, I mean, yeah, there's something really physical. The fucker bit me. Yeah, well, it ro rode Benji. Please don't please don't turn into one of these things. We, we don't need any lycanthropy in this story. Yeah, I think the buzzing wore off. Buzzing? Yeah. What kind of buzzing? Like, you know when something almost starts to fall asleep? And you get the pins and needles kind of marching ants feeling? But like you can feel it and also kind of almost hear it? That, that kind of buzzing. I can definitely know when something feels like it's about to go asleep, but I've never heard anything. Lucky you. Lincoln's canting mm. his head up that, but, but that's a mental noise he's going to add later. But he is going to add the picture to his evidence log. Okay. Um, is there a name for these that we know of? There is not. Um, you can call them Anomaly Plus or whatever you want to call them. That alludes to the fact that they are anomalies, but worse. We're going to call them Neo Anomalies. Neo Anomalies. They got really sharp teeth. Don't get bit. It sucked. I'm also not sure if being close to them causes hallucinations or not. Hallucinations would be more of an idolog thing. There's some, some sort of dreamscape out there. Yeah, didn't you Where... and I saw it? It wasn't with the anomaly, though. It was just there. Yeah, but we were the only ones that saw it. The others didn't, I don't think. Can we have a run-in with a different kind of dog? He looks over to Baxter, Jean, and Alex. Alex has had to step away. Baxter, um, I mean, you had your, your arm in its mouth, but it wasn't that it was a different kind of dog. It was that you guys had set it on fire first and it didn't die. (laughs) 
Dexter. Rip. He's dead, boys. Again. F, F, in, in, chat. The, F in the chat F for in Dexter. Chat. We assume he will relay this information. Cool. Insert relay text here. So. Set on fire. And still. Wow. That, um. That's kind of horrifying. Yeah, just a little bit. That's what happened to the shape. Don't set the angel on fire. Too late. Uh, I'm gonna just go back to pretending I don't know that. I thought... Trojan did take a selfie of the fucking burning dog. <laughs> yes, he did. Gene did can indeed take a see, selfie. Can I at least see the selfie so I can add that to the evidence log? Uh, yes! Gene, Gene shares the selfie. <laughs> Woo! Right, I am adding it to the evidence log. Uh, Gene shows everyone the selfie of uh, taking that he took of himself being chased by the on-fire dog. Holy shit. Wraith is gonna blink. It's like, hey, nice. That's somehow worse than I thought it was. Good the job. Dog fire. And the fact that the duck's on fire. Good job, man. Is Izzy around? Do they need to avoid Izzy seeing this? Um, she is around, but she's not paying attention to you guys. Um, oh, she's God. sitting with Martha, and she is eating French toast. Oh, thank God. Um, and she is covered in syrup. That's a oh, later French problem toast. for all of us. <laughs> The amount of really sugar, that's a later problem. <laughs> I really have figured out some info that might need to be shared as well. Oh, yes. Yeah. Um, I don't know if anyone else noticed this, but Aurelia just looks over to, to Rafe and then Benji and just goes like, didn't you, didn't we see that odd voice symbol? A mixture of Creed symbol and the ones from Hunter. We did oh, yeah. Didn't we? We did. It that. was on that one buff, dude. Did you guys... I'm guessing, since it was on the first thing, you didn't take a picture of it, but do you at least remember it to draw it? Um, uh, I might be able to. Benji was busy. Um, I um, Would Aurelia be able to? Because um, I think she saw it through the... Um, what was it? The scope? Um... And her photographic memory can pull that in too, if need be. Oh yeah, Ray yes. gave Aurelia the scope because she can see better. Yeah, Aurelia, you you could recall that from memory. It basically is like the infinite symbol um, and the hunter symbol appearing twice on either side as if to trying to eat the infinite T symbol. symbol. Is that familiar? Roll me a lore. Okay. I should probably get that one day. You think you've seen that symbol before? Can Benji place where he's seen it? You think you've seen that symbol on some confidential materials in SATCON. Wait. Has it been... Wait, sorry. I spaced out there for a second. Has it been shown? Or... Is this just uh, for my brain? Aurelia, are you going to draw it for them? If uh... She could draw it because she knows how it looks like. Wraith would very quickly borrow a paper and a crayon from Izzy and give it to Aurelia. It's a little sticky. Aww. Hey. <laughs> so much syrup. That's a future problem, guys. <laughs> Wraith gives the crayon. Like it's a little sticky. Okay. Can Benji try to rack his brain for when he saw it in Satcon? Sure. And what would that be? 
Let's call that an insight. I am going to do the same once I get the picture from Aurelia, but I'm going can, to utilize Keeper of the Compendium. Can I boost that? With? Uh, don't think, act on instinct? I'll allow it. Um, okay. You're not sure why you were in SATCON that day. You remember very vaguely that you had been stationed somewhere. You had overheard a, par a pair of lucids talking about an observation, and they were being very dodgy about the subject. Um, and you vaguely remember having seen it on a report. Um, you had seen it stricken out so that it was not a call, so to speak. Mm -hmm. um, and you remember that it was a partial report of um, an observation of a group of hosts migrating through the area. Hosts attributed to the hunter. Has Aurelia finished the drawing? Aurelia, do you do the drawing? Yes, you do the drawing. Okay, nope, Aurelia... Aurelia draws um, the hunt the strong symbol, or the uh, the eat the strong symbol, rather, with the uh, crayon, and shows everybody. Yep, that's what I thought it was. Bungie's just going to take that and just, kind of in the same pattern from what he saw, just take it and mark through it real fast. I've seen that in SATCON. That's the devourer symbol. Yeah, but it's... Um, Fuck. It's not complete. Lucids were talking about it. There's, There were hunter hosts that were getting watched that... That was part of what they were watching on them. Why the fuck was I in SATCON? I was kind of about to ask that. Why were you in SATCON? I was this, don't wait. know. Was it... This was a file, right? Hmm? You, you said this was a file, right? Yeah. Um, some were voices you... were talking and I was reading something. So you were able to access these as a stalker, right? I don't know why I was in SATCON, so I can't tell you. I don't remember going to SATCON. That's not where stalkers go. Maybe you didn't go there as a stalker. Does the memory feel that old? It does not feel recent. It does feel a little older. <sighs> it would have been during adversary days. don't know. I didn't even remember I've been in SATCON. Fuck. Uh, Lincoln, if you want to make an insight, you may. Gladly. Is there a Benji? No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> don't you dare. I mean, eventually no, no, I want to get a bullshit of foot for everyone. Uh, eventually. He yes, he need. does. Yes, he does. He definitely needs one. <laughs> nah, just give me more espresso. It's fine. No. I just had I had espresso, but now I'm just sad and fast. <laughs> <laughs> he just wants more espresso to go fight gods, apparently. You know, I don't blame him. I would fist fight God too. Lincoln, how much did you look into the, the situation with SATCON during the days where the club was trying to get into saturation control in order to map out its layout? After, after the big break at Somerdale and when most of the investigations with the Wells were taken over by other skeptics, 
he probably would turn a little more towards like seeing what he can do to help with Satcon. So he has some scrapes into the iceberg, but nothing deep. That probably would have been Kira territory. Yeah. I'll say sure. with a five, what you know is a lot of what the club had talked about that in Satcon, there was a section that the idea was trying to get to the yeah. idea at the time, uh, the, the shattered one in yep. particular, um, had been trying to get into Satcon group six. This was the location where all things tainted by the adversary were sent. It was very near to a lot of places where they were keeping other things on observation. It is entirely likely that Benji had gone to group six himself. Even if for only a short time. You probably made your way to group six, Benji. Would Benji know the voice connotations for group six? Roll me a lore. And can with Lincoln talking about it, can he use the help action on that? Oh, uh, sure. I'll let so you roll, roll with, with advantage. advantage. Hey! <laughs> Yay, advantage. Wait, you're you're this crayon now. You remember hearing about this as a stalker and your brain sort of forcing you to turn away from the information. That's the place where the adversary is contained. Uh, I... Is he having to fight through basically the stalker mindset on that particular? The information that you might have been consigned there at some point is helping to combat that, um, but it does feel like a clash in your brain. I'm. I'm gonna go get more coffee. Benji walks off. Okay, don't drink too much. It's bad for you, they tell me. Hey, Skylar. Do you know anything about Group 6? Uh, did Aurelia ever spend any time kind of digging into the SatCon information? Or did you play the good soldier and keep your head down? <laughs> I think I always played the good soldier until um, a sundown happened. Aurelia probably has a vague knowledge of what that means um, about Group 6. Um, it probably wouldn't have registered as a major thing for her, if only because she was in the middle of the fallout with Speak as One. Um, and you couldn't care less about the adversary. He never really bothered you, you guess. Um, but you don't know a ton more than anybody else. Yeah, she would just look back to Lingen and just shake her head. Okay. That's fine. Benji will come back once he has one more shot made for himself. Okay. Benji returns with more caffeine. Yep. Like it is still chugging away at that god awful soda you picked up earlier. Uh, adversary shit. I, I was close to one of the other observation cells, I think. I don't think it's a place you can usually get into as a stalker. I don't think it would be. Given, given how much the talk hits really don't like that. But you mentioned it was next to an observation zone? The lucids were talking and there was a report. I was reading that the report had the symbol, but 
To avoid making sure that it calls anything, he gestures to where he struck it out. You know, you don't want to leave a calling card. Are there any inferences that Lincoln can make about what that observation area was? Without having seen the report, not really. Okay. I mean... I, I can see if Pet Boss can help me try to dig more on this now that it's gotten jogged, if it's important. Well, do what I can. It'll be uh, a little easier if you take a nap. Every once in a while. I am trying to. I don't. I can make him do that. I can also help with that, like I did, like uh, like how Wraith did over there with Kaede. Don't don't take my coffee again. Naps are mm. good. Most of the time, don't pretends that he hasn't again. been sleeping well. <laughs> hmm. It might help us to get that information, Benji. I... And Lincoln folds his arms. I look. No, no, no. I, I'm, I'm trying to think. Sorry. Um, no, it's know. just it felt weird in my head. I don't know. Oh, dude, it, it's fine. Trust me, I get it. Like you're still recovering from a lot of the stuff that happened. So, like, that struggle's still gonna be there. I may talk to Bells about it, but I don't know if she'll have anything. I don't think I can call adversary out here anymore. I know someone on the inside that might, but I don't think that'll really help anything because it's not the adversary that was inside. Yeah. They had two entirely different thought traces after a while. Yeah. The try. But maybe there's some old tit kids in the club that we can probably talk to with Gwen. They may they may know something. Any information helps, right? Mm-hmm. I can have Dax try to reach out to Gwen again. Uh Kara's notebooks, if she's got any of them, too. Maybe hand him over to Dax. He seems bored enough. As a general, is Kira okay if she was unconscious to share her notebook information? Kira had... Kira would share things with pretty much anyone who'd be willing to sit and listen. I rather suspect that Dax got some long rambles of Kira and old tongue while she was stuck at HQ after having like too much ninja juice and then passing as, out. As long as Kira was originally like okay with spreading that information, Lincoln would feel comfortable being like, yeah, okay, let's do that. But if it's something that she Kira, would want reserved. Kira has no has very few problems with it for someone like Dax. Um for people that she wouldn't know whether or not there'd be problems, it's kind of a crapshoot. Kara loved to talk to anybody about anything if they were going to listen, remember? So Don't worry. Wraith will let Dax her Dax would at least be okay, yeah? Come Dax would be okay. Okay. Sorry, Wraith, go ahead. Listen, don't worry, Wraith will let her know verbally that she, her knowledge is being put to use for when she gets out of baby jail. Because Kara did a lot of conjectures with a whole bunch of people and didn't care if they use that to then jump off and ask other questions. So she's generally known as being pretty okay with sharing knowledge. Okay. Just gonna go quietly to my adventure notes and add in group six. Mm-hmm. Benji. Uh. All 
All right. So you guys know that you need to go to the scrapyard um, sooner rather than later if you guys want to uh, wait for Roll the Dice to have um, his uh, slowly recovering hosts um, ward those vehicles. It's going to take them a couple of days. Um, in the meantime, you are able to take some time and figure out what you want to do as far as your plan of attack um, and prep to go out. Um, you can either agree to go out and be time bubble for a little while, and then we come back and f and f uh, figure out what things take place when you go to the scrapyard. Um, what do you guys want to do now? Um, I think a time bubble would be a good idea, but I want to hear what everyone else wants to say first. I'm more on the lines of waiting before we go out. For the wards, and I think Wraith is also waiting for a map from the other rudder host for the area nearby. Waiting would probably be pretty good. Okay. So you guys want to spend the next couple of days um, getting prepared, building up a little bit more wall and gate defenses. Yep. Um, yeah. Taking the time to do that. Uh, you, at this time, you have been attacked out in the field. You don't know if they're going to get bold enough to attack Haven, but it could very well happen that they try to either speak as one or your enemies um, down south. Knowing where you are, it is always a risk that anything you do, they will try to retaliate at your 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 haven, your home. Um, and so as good of defenses as possible are probably recommended. So we could take the time, spend a little bit more time, just pour a little bit more work up into haven. Because if we're leaving, that takes a a decent chunk of just people who could respond to a problem. Mm -hmm. So if we spend the time, we can probably make sure that we've got Haven a little bit more bolstered. Is there anything else we can do? Uh, Jane's got a really good point. Um, gate and guard off the maze entrances. Can we try to find and maybe start mapping and marking where more of the concealed maze entrances have been? That way we know. Um, yeah, you can you can definitely take some time to do that. Um, most of the maze entrances are in the sub basement, um, the basically the basement below the basement, um, and so not in the same section as where the the death room is, but on that floor. Um, so you do know that there is that main entrance. Um, in the time, in, kind of in the intervening time, you would have had time to otherwise map the building. Um, and you find that that seems to be the only entrance. And you think that it's probably because this building wasn't finished by the time um, it was taken over by the Eidolon. So we just have a couple of the other sub ones, because I remember the Reaper pointed one out to Kira. There are red doors all yeah. over the place. That's what the Reaper no was other, pointing out. No other maze entrances, just a bunch of red doors. There are a lot of red doors in this building. Can we map where some of the red doors are too, as we're just yeah. kind of yeah, you can do that. time? Yeah, you can definitely do that. Um, there are probably upwards of 20 different red doors inside of the facility. God, that's a lot. How many, what's the percentage between blocked and still uh, accessible? There are only about four that are not blocked off completely. Um, okay. The one that had been seen in the ceiling is one of those, as well as two that are kind of in the sub-basement near the death room. Um, but you get the feeling that those have their own blocks regardless. Uh, nobody wants to walk out into that. I have a question. Okay. Mm -hmm. How much more of the binding did Wraith learn? The binding is a significantly long string of the old tongue. Um, so you've got probably the first couple of lines, but this is the kind of a, of a binding that took a few of her hosts a few days to do. So, 
So he's still getting to learn it though, right? Yes, it is a very slow process though. As there is a lot to learn. He's gotta write down the words for Kira later. She'll be so happy. All right, so you guys are going to be taking the time to fortify your 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 home um, and preparing for uh, the scrapyard run. Yep. Okay. Does that mean Benji doesn't have the ability to evade Atticus anymore? Sure does. Oh, great. Mm-hmm. Well, with that, then why don't we go ahead and drop curtain for now right there, and we will come back um, in... Yep. Go ahead. Do I get to make any more physique rolls? Uh, we'll have you be rolling physique at the beginning of the next session. Oh, okay. Do I need to roll my will save now? Yes, you do. Okay. Roll better than a three. I can find the, the channel with the stuff and things. Is a five. You are hardcore com compartmentalizing. You will deal with this shit later. Awesome. Do I need to roll anything? That depends. Are you hiding from Atticus? Uh, he promised that he wouldn't. Okay, then you don't. Um, the also more of just the you said we might roll if we had severe consequences still to see how those were doing on recovery. Yes, those of you who have severe consequences, go ahead and roll me your physiques now. <laughs> hey, Wraith, you're still not sleeping much, are you? Nope. Am I at disadvantage? Yes, you are. Oh, four. Uh, both Benji and Jean, you guys are starting to recover, so your severe consequences are on the way to recovery, um, so you can mark them as such. Um, and you haven't reset your progress. Wraith. Hey, how you doing? Hi. How are you doing? I, you know, stuff and things. Uh-huh. I've never seen that zero before in my life. It's right there. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, right, that's, right that's, there. It's it's pretty uh pretty round zero, you know. But I see a five and a five and a six. There's no mm, zero. Okay. So Wraith, you are kind of making it worse. <laughs> that whole not sleeping much thing is catching you. Um, and we will say, um, you're gonna take a little bit of physical damage from that. It can't catch me, though. I'm unstoppable. Well, it can, you know. I mean, right. you can activate it over a long period of time, over and over and over again, but you're just going to keep taking stress and consequences if you do that. So how much uh, stress am I taking? If, if it catches me, because, you know, I, I'm ahead by, like, several feet. So you're going to you're gonna take two shifts of physical damage. Ow. Fine. Fucking sleep. Sleep would be wise. It's very worried about the stuff and things. No shit, huh? Yeah. It's okay. I have another stress box. It's all fine. Does anybody else have anything they want to focus on during the interim time that uh, you guys have before you go out on your your assuredly straightforward mission? Um. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh. He's gonna like it's gonna go to Scarlet's office and just investigate documents to see if he can find anything correlated to blood drawings and uh, what they were talking about earlier. Okay. Um. So you go into Scarlet's office. Um. Go ahead and roll me two things. Okay. First and foremost, roll me a random. Okay. Hey! And now roll me your investigate. Okay. Do that. Um, am I able to apply there's bullshit afoot to the situation? 
It is my mother, after all. I will allow it. Okay. I'm also just going to go ahead and boost that to an 11. You're going to just burn your, your all of your fate right now. <laughs> all of the fate. I'm just going to burn my one fate that I got from earlier. I was going to say, I, it's hard for you to not spend it all in one place because you only have one. Exactly. <laughs> um... Yeah, you you can do that. Um, so as you're searching Scarlet's office, um, you, so what specifically are you looking for in in her, basically, f in her desk and her records? Um, the topic is way too broad for them to find anything, so he's gonna narrow it down to the to two basic keywords of like blood drawing, blood transfusion, and anything correlating to, um. Like, basically anything correlated to something that would require extraction of blood. You go through her files, and one thing that strikes you is that a lot of Scarlet's medical research is encrypted. Um, as in, she is using some kind of a cipher in order to prevent potentially prying eyes from getting information. Um, she wouldn't have just left all of that information behind without sh being sure that it would be very difficult for anybody to actually pick it out. That's you fine. do run across, however, a couple of not encrypted reports because they look to be um, just like her hastily scribbled notes on a notepad, um, kind of in Dr. Shorthand. But as you're investigating, you're able to kind of parse together that she had been for a long time sending out instructions for specific, uh, basically specifically looking for certain types of people. And originally her notes kind of mark down what are a series of names typically. And you see that she goes into blood type, um, a a positive, a negative, B positive, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and that she had started to shift her searching from, you know, blood type to um, voice specific requirements. Um, and you see that there are little symbols that are kind of marked down that you, after a few minutes of looking at this information, are able to parse that these are the equivalent of a mask for a voices symbol. Um, you see kind of a book for the scholar, um, you see a candle for the adversary, um, and so on and so forth. So okay. it looks like they've been looking for the blood of specific groups for a long time. Um, she had been looking for something when she had been searching for blood types, um, and then she went looking for something probably different when she started looking at voices. So this is what Link is going to do with that information. Mm-hmm. He's going to save it in his evidence log, so I can utilize it for proof of evidence later when we try to, to break it down. Okay. Um, he is going to relay the blood and voice type information to Atticus to, to keep someone in the infirmary on the loop and to keep an eye on the ones that may have been targeted in this situation. So that would be Paede, Aurelia, Alex, and Jack. Okay. Um, the next step, he's going to go to the skeptics. He's going to talk to Brian. And he's mm -hmm. going to want to connect a team of scholars and skeptics to try and break uh, Scarlet's cipher so they can get more access to her notes. You're going to get a thousand yard stare from the skeptics, but they will begrudgingly agree. I, I understand. Word. I understand that they don't want to do this, but this is life or death in this situation. And that is the only reason that they are agreeing is because this is a this is bigger than us situation. Yep. Can't be using this word cipher around here, man. <laughs> okay, no. The the two <laughs> cipher addicts are otherwise occupied at the moment. I think I'm fine. Kara would love to work on encryption, unfortunately. Gestures. Don't worry. We will we will fold every corner of her notebook in a different spot until she wakes up. That one is not making noises. Wow. <laughs> Wait, is Kara making cipher noises? Hold on. Not at the moment. Thanks. Mm. Don't do this to me. At least if... I'm not having to roll Will to make sure she's not, I guess. No, not at the moment. 
Thanks. If, if the gang was gun done talking, Wraith is gonna make sure Izzy gets back her sticky crayon. Okay. And he's gonna go uh, check on Adam. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty much all on my end. Is, other than that, it's just talking to Damien and Lawrence to see if they can assemble the forces for driving. Okay. Can Bungie help the other RTD hosts? He promises it's not to avoid Atticus. You want to roll a deceive for me? Sure. That thing that he has a little bit of, I guess. <laughs> Quick panic stack before you roll it. <laughs> Quick flip the dice. about that. <laughs> Flip the dice, you're an RTD kid. My god, no, it's conflict only. Conflict. <laughs> this is a conflict of mentalness but, account. But, but, you can automatically succeed on a bluff. Does this count as a bluff? Can no. You do, can you Damn. do that to other RTD hosts? I don't think that applies. Atticus is a, is a scholar host, I could have tried. Wait, I thought he was deceiving the other RTD hosts, but like, I'm totally not avoiding Atticus. Uh. Objection! <laughs> you should have hidden Chance's mop bucket. One does not simply take mean. a mop bucket. Chance is now starting an underground mop circuit racing league. Don't. Wraith wants to join! Don't. Don't. <laughs> So, Wraith wants to go and talk to Adam. Uh, Raven, I see your hand up. Did you want to do something as well? I was just gonna say, uh, if they're done, Nell's gonna go to the uh, infirmary and start helping Atticus to and, like, make sure he eats and goes to get some coffee and stuff. Okay. Uh, like, so she's now helping, mm -hmm. but, like, she's keeping an eye on Atticus because she knows how he is. Okay. Um, Nell, you head back to the infirmary and chastise Atticus for not having eaten his sandwich yet. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, Wraith, you go to talk to Adam. Um, you find that even now Adam is still asleep. Um, she does wake up a little while later. She is still very out of it. Um, just kind of almost shell shocked. Is she still sitting in bed? Yes, she is. Wraith is gonna put the blanket back on her and tell her to stay here and try to relax. She'll nod. Yeah. Will you keep an eye on Kay then? Yeah. I'm gonna get you something to eat first and then I'll go check on her. Oh, okay. Would Adam have given Wraith the letter yet? Or is she still holding out hope? She is still holding out hope. Um, because Kaede's heart rate keeps oscillating between being steady and then being kind of erratic. Um, and the fact that Kaede has a sometimes steady heartbeat is kind of what she's holding on to right now. She had very specific guidelines for her to give Wraith that letter. Mm -hmm. So if she gets worse if like, she if, if she, she deteriorates in any way, Adam is kind of on the cusp of yeah. Yeah, she if she deteriorates in yeah. If cause her thing was if she is actively dying or going to die, Wraith needs to get that letter. Yep. So She's right now Adam's hope. getting a sandwich. Yes, she is. With turkey. It's a turkey sandwich. Okay. <laughs> Alright, uh, Wraith goes to get Adam some food. Adam just kind of veges for a day and is very quiet. Wraith is gonna do his rounds between the twins to make sure, like, he can't- he knows he can't do much for Kay right now, so he's gonna check on her and make sure that Adam keeps her strength up, because she's recovering too! Okay. Wraith does the rounds, he keeps an eye on things, and continues to ignore his own health. This is fine! I've never seen that zero before in my life! Yeah, okay. Uh-huh. Sure. I'm gonna have to talk to a doctor. You are too, buddy. <laughs> you gotta catch me first, haha. <laughs> yeah, I got a higher athletics than you. 
That's good. Mm. Hey, guess who still has a fucking uh, tripwire? Hey, hey, it's, it's, hey, Listen, Aurelia, you should me. you should make sure that Benji <laughs> goes to the doctor. I'm going to go this way. Uh, when um, Nell notice that Wraith isn't really taking care of himself, you stay away from me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess Wraith roll a deceive. What's oh, deceive? You know, lying. I don't even think I have that. Hold on. Let me. I uh... have empathy. <laughs> yeah, I love she you too. <laughs> that thing that Rafe oh. doesn't have because he's a terrible liar. Oh, great. I believe in you. Alright, hold on. It's in the hands I mean, of being Rafe one. Now. Ah. It's a tie. It is the tie. The tie goes to the defender. <laughs> so it's, right. it's called <laughs> success at a cost. So you probably suspect that he is putting on an act. You don't know him super well, but you've kind of seen that with club kids where like everyone gets traumatized and then everyone lies and says they're fine. Hey, wait, Wraith actually has a deceive of one. Oh, so it's a two. It's a two. I win. <laughs> Oh, she's gonna have her. I need lie whisper. God damn it! Why did I not get? Well, now you know. <laughs> um, is half the battle. Wraith but... is, Wraith is putting, putting on a pretty good mask. Um, he looks a little tired, but besides that, he's he seems to be in good spirits for the most part. Nell's gonna kind of keep an eye on him. Listen, hey, once I'm done checking on the twins, I gotta find a suitable mop bucket for the race. That's okay. Benji has a solution for this. Oh, Listen, no. There are at least 10, 20 different janitor closets around Haven. I'm sure there's at least one or two in each of those. Oh my god, no. Don't have a racing circuit. Mop bucket no. racing circuit! <laughs> there's the plan. Wraith is going to get a mop bucket, and he's going to ask Izzy to help him decorate it, and they're going to put a big old number on the side. And then they're going to get a mop that actually mops when they race. So that they're cleaning. They're not racing. They're gonna make Herbie. And then, and then we have to make Izzy a race bucket too. Well, no. Yes. No. Nah. Nah. That's only fair. Yeah, you're right. It's only fair. Plus, Izzy would probably really love it. This is just Chance's underground way of making some sort of income. It's are we a marketing betting scheme? Are we betting snacks? Well, I guess that's the that is the currency that the kids use. Is that our bell? Or is yes, that the is. Oh. Abruptly as you guys are going about your tasks and activities, the bells begin to ring. Is that a warning? It is a warning. I think it's going to um, make us way topside to figure out what's going on. You make your way up, Lincoln. Does anybody else go up to see what's going on? Yeah. Uh, well, with our drone. Um, unless Bungie is being held back by Atticus at this point. Uh, if it's between rounds, yeah, right, they'll go. Can we all hear it? Uh, yes, it's hard to miss. A right, loud now, bell. Now we'll go. Jean goes out to the gate. Uh, does anybody go anywhere else besides um, up towards where the bell is at? Benji is is Atticus allowing Benji out? Yes, for the time being. Okay, Benji is going to go up for height and see if anyone's got a scope he can borrow to try to look around. Okay. You know, that's a good idea. Can Wraith look through his uh, rifle scope? Uh, yeah. Are you going to go up with Benji to try to just find a higher spot up? Yeah. Those of you who are looking to get Vantage, um, if you guys are going to try to climb the tower, uh, go ahead and roll me an Athletics. Benji would be going for the wall. 
Benji, you're going for the wall, the outer wall, or the top most part of the building. Ooh. Oh my god! Oh, that was close. <laughs> you have caught me. Probably. Honestly, probably one of the outer walls to be okay. able to have the best vantage if there's a, a risk or something coming around. He'd be doing that. Okay. Athletic stone. I'm um, also gonna reroll. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Y'all are dancing around an omen, guys. Alex can use her drone, right? Alex, you can use your drone, yes. Is it athletics for getting up onto the wall? Um, it is athletics for getting up onto the wall. Reroll it. And there. I will boost that with the fate I got from um recap, because it's not gonna carry over. <laughs> okay. And then is this a and then a notice once we're up? Um Oops. for now, uh, just the athletics to see if everybody gets into position. Lincoln, yeah. um, where were you going? At this point, I don't know. <laughs> uh, Lincoln, you get up all the flights of stairs and then you just kind of stop um, on the roof. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, Nell, you're re-rolling. Um, yeah. I think you did much better. What did you re-roll with? Walk it off. She probably slipped. Ah. She was nervous that she probably slipped. It, it is fine. a little damp outside. Uh, athletics right. is not my thing. Physique is. <laughs> if I could <laughs> climb with physique. <laughs> you can if you climb for a long time. <laughs> All right. Before I have you guys roll a notice or an investigate. Oh, oops. I rerolled the spider monkey. Roll me your luck. Oh, fuck. Just the folks awake, right? Just the folks awake. So this would be no. Yes. Oh. oh. Well, it's not a tick. This is fine. It's high. Blank and reroll. Okay. Did Chance come up as they uh, headed out, by the way? No, but Chance is still awake. Okay. Hey, that's pretty good. We got good luck guys. Rolling. You guys are okay. actually rolling quite well. Because we're not out! You gotta call it, why you gotta call it out like that, huh? It's just why you gotta call out. it out? Just because it's true doesn't mean you gotta call us out like that. No, I'm gonna call us out! Next time we oh, go out, guys! Roll. This makes just me gonna so say sad. Goodbye. No, isn't it really a kind of mid? I think barely below. 447 mid. is a low. It's oh, a low, it's technically. Barely missed mid. Barely <sighs> missed. But that is okay because your guys' luck is high. Which is good. It. We did it, gang. All right. Those of you who are out looking, I'm not going to make you roll a notice for this because it is extremely obvious. You guys are climbing into positions, uh, getting into into place where you can see what's going on. Jean is down at the at the gate. Benji's on the wall. A couple of a couple of you climb the tower. Some of you are on the roof. Um, and as you are watching, you notice that there is movement in the woods. A large swath of sleepers that suddenly move past you. As you're watching these sleepers sort of shamble past, they all seem to pause for a moment as the bell rings. As it does so, you see a shimmer sort of ripple in the false night that kind of surrounds Haven. The sleepers stop as the bell tolled and had started to list on their feet. But then as the bell had ceased its sound, they had begun shambling onward again and had moved past Haven. There are hundreds of them moving by you. I have... Wraith have some PTSD about all those sleepers when he was playing Dance Fever. Um, with all of those sleepers moving, how loud is the song? 
you can hear it begin to swell underneath you. And even through the barrier, as muffled as it is. Do I have to roll something? Question, though. Mm-hmm. Nell doesn't hear it, does she? No, you do. Uh-huh. You can feel it. Uh-huh. Do I need to roll well on that? You are inside of the barrier. And so I will not make you roll a will, but you do not feel good. Okay. Can Alex tell it all with her drone, the condition of a lot of these sleepers from afar? Um, yeah. Go ahead and roll me an investigate for that. Is there anyone up that I'm with that might have a pair of binoculars that I can borrow? Um, William is standing near you if you want to borrow his. Yeah. Okay. I'd like to see the same and I'd like to use attention to detail for that. Okay, go ahead and roll and investigate. Okay. Let me just double check if any of the uh, attention to details requirements. Can Wraith tell that Benji's not feeling so hot? Benji, are you hiding it? He probably would try to. Roll a deceive. Uh-huh. Wraith, roll an empathy. Can no, I, use, I can't uh, use attention to detail for that. Can I use body language reader? Yeah, you can. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. <laughs> we can I see all. everything. <laughs> uh, what were you asking? <laughs> uh, I was asking if I could use a body language reader instead of empathy. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll uh, well, allow that. Words are hard today, Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, you can tell. He's trying to, to like, push past it, but Benji doesn't look like he's feeling good. Wraith is gonna keep looking, but he's gonna give him, like, a pat on the shoulder. Just like a reassuring, he's still awake type of pat. Benji does look still awake. He just looks unhappy, unwell. It's more Wraith realized one of Benji's actual, with the dreamscape, Benji has a deep-rooted fear of losing, uh, staying awake. Yup. So he's trying to physical contact to help reassure him that he's still here. Not really. Doesn't feel good. Uh, hold on. You've got Binox, right? Got the scope. He's gonna hand it over to Benji so he can take a look. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Benji, yep. you look through the scope? Yep. You may also go ahead and roll and investigate. Okay. Um, does the scope give anything? Um, it means that you're not rolling at disadvantage. I appreciate that. Scope. Wait, question. Yes. How's uh how's Aurelia doing? That's a great question, Aurelia. Do you want to roll me a will save? Thanks, Wraith. Hi, welcome. <laughs> uh, let me give me a second. Your target is a three. I gotta keep you physically awake somehow. <laughs> hey, yo. All right. Aurelia is present. Aurelia, you also feel the way the song kind of moves through your chest, but it doesn't hit you and make you dizzy like it did the last time. So you're kind of shoving through it. Hey, yo. Those of you who have investigated, let's see, uh, Benji and Wraith and, not Wraith, Wraith, you were investigating Benji. 
Um, well, he, he had a look down there, so I guess I should roll investigate him. Yes, if you looked through the scope before you handed it over to Benji. It was Benji, yeah, so, Alex, Lincoln. Benji, Alex, and Lincoln. So, and so since the notice I rolled earlier was before I was found out, I didn't have to roll notice. Can I apply my plus two boost to that instead? Um, sure. Hello. Wait, we're rolling Hi. investigate. Hey. Oh, oh my god. Jean's alive. Welcome Hi. back. He took four. Your your computer needs to be threatened with knives. I threatened it with physical violence already. Um, Good. Uh, Gene, you're down at the at the gate. Yes. Yes. He, is there There's anything he can do at the gate, or he's just he's just bracing the gate? Like kind of. Um, you can investigate with everyone else if you want to see what the hell is going on with all these crazy sleepers. Uh, sure. Let's see what uh, eye level does. With investigate, you said, right? Yes. Okay. okay. Lincoln, we'll come back to you. Okay. Uh, as so you Lincoln have crit. Can, Lincoln can see the future. Uh, Alex, Benji, and Jean. All of you kind of observe that the sleepers look to be in fairly good shape. They're very similar to the sleepers that you had seen in Red Acre before sundown, um, where the voice was still taking care of their sleepers and their lucids. Um, they still seem to be in kind of good condition. This can mean one of two things. Either they recently came from Red Acre um, and have been traveling for a little while, but have been kind of moved in groups uh, sort of over time or more likely they're from the nearby villages and towns that speak as one is kind of cobbled together as like satellite red acres um, and you kind of lean towards the idea that they are probably from not red acre itself but the other sort of mini stepfords that they have set up because they're not wearing satin pjs are they they are not um they're all wearing kind of a, a an eclectic collection of PJs, and they all have been made to wear pajamas. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Everyone is clothed. It's fine. Ah, yes, decency. Ooh. Okay. Lincoln. How? You notice that there is a pattern to their movement. You're high up enough to see this because you're on the roof um, and you're looking through a scope. Alex, it takes you a little bit longer to see this because you're not, you're, you sent the drone up, but the drone's camera isn't very good. Um, and so night vision is there, but it's harder to see the moving shapes and the shape that they make. Lincoln, you notice that the, the sleepers are forming a dual lift that is moving across the countryside. Uh, I'm gonna put this over on, uh, we have a, uh, voice link communication, right? Um, you, enough time has passed that you guys have been able to establish comms. So yes, you do have communications now. Lincoln is gonna go ahead and just turn that on like, hey, heads up, they got marching orders. They're shaped like a dual lith. Fuck. They're also not from town. They're from around here, I think. Does anybody try to interfere with them moving past? Someone's gonna have to relay that if you guys want Nell to know. I forgot to mention Nell is deaf. Um, so, Nell is deaf but oh. has cochlear implants. I forgot to mention that. Yeah, she is deaf but she has a cochlear implant. Is there someone nearby with comms that could translate that for her? Like, she can hear like, and she can't wear comms. Yeah. NPC wise, we're asking that. Yeah, where is she, where did Nell end up in the Nell? Did you go room? up to the roof with Lincoln, or did you go down with the others? She climbed the tower, I think. Um, so you're above Lincoln. Um, you can probably hear him talking out loud. Okay. Um, and now that he has pointed it out, you are able to make out and identify that yes, there is indeed a a moving 
Duolith. Um, Alex, you pull back with the drone a little bit, and you also see it. Can Benji and Ray see it? You guys are closer to ground level, so you can kind of almost see it. They look more like a single crowd to you from down here. Oh, that's probably why he's only feeling like shit and not something worse. Correct. That doesn't hold any power to it, does it? And so kind of look at Lincoln. Something on this grandier scale, it means that they're intending to do something. Roll me an insight. Okay, I'm utilizing proof with evidence on this one. Okay. Um. Would... Can I help with Benji if they're talking about it just from Benji's knowledge of the voice? If they're talking about it on comms, is that possible? Um. Benji, you would have to try to steer him towards the right conclusion. Okay. Can I try to assist them? Lincoln needs to make some conjecture first. So the first roll, no, but the, any any further rolls after, yes. Okay. Uh, that's a five. Lincoln, symbols have power. Yep. If they're moving their symbol like that, there's a reason for it. Where are they moving towards? They're moving towards the south. They're passing you by... Um, Kind of in the direction, the general direction of Harrisonburg, if not from Harrisonburg itself, maybe from somewhere nearby, um, in that direction. And they're headed south, almost southwest. Are they making their way towards Lost Hope? It's possible. It looks like they're trying to mark and claim territory further, further down south. I've got some thoughts on Lost Hope, but... I am welcoming any insight right now so we can try to crack the bottom of this. Wraith is gonna adjust some, like, he's gonna adjust some and just sort of close his eyes for a moment before opening them again. It's like, Wendy, what do you think? What? He's gonna, he's at, he's calling out to taste the wind to see what she thinks going uh, on. Okay. There's also a boy barking at me. They are on the move, yes. And they do appear to have a heading, a specific one, as to what they might be doing. It is difficult to say. But one does not move in formation unless they intend to go to war. So you think it's a squad? And they're making a declaration. That's what yes. that could be. Against who, though? Not us. But, um... Their agreement with the others might be a little more tenuous. I mean, they're heading south. South is... Not south is Reunido territory. Yeah, which means they might be moving a declaration of war at them. Sounds which like means we've got to fight on two fronts. So nothing's majorly changed, except for they're not hiding it. You know, yeah. willing to make a declaration, you're usually willing to back it up. You think what happened to us did something to piss off the heads? I think it's probably something that happened in SatCon. So the trust is broken, basically. It's possible. Oh, no. uh, okay. I can't understand enough to figure this out. I can't. Is it SatCon really hard to get into? From what I've heard, it, it is, and that's the problem because they were someone was able to break in there. I mean, we're not sure who, but we knew that we know that there are hunter hosts in there as well. Maybe they think it was an inside job. It's possible. 
Lincoln's going to pull out his phone and try to shoot off a quick text to Amber. He's not expecting a response anytime soon, but he is going to be relating that information over. Okay, go ahead and send me the message he sends to Ambria. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. I can find channels. Do I have a rough count of how many uh, sleepers and lucids there are? Um, easily about 200. So, there's enough to leave tracks. Mm-hmm. Wraith doesn't know how to explain it verbally, but he's he's thinking it would be a good idea to have a tail on them, but not a close tail, if that makes sense. Kind of follow where they're going and see what they're up to. Yeah, which he's relaying that to Taste the Wind, that, you know, if they're going to be fighting on two fronts, it's best to have some information better than none. I could ask the Samaritan, if she knows anything. I doubt it, but... Maybe, but... Since Wendy's protecting Samaritan, I think they would have shared that information if she had it already. I'm just trying to heal. <laughs> she, she will get a uh, pat pat. It's okay. <sighs> just kind of weird to think about. Either they don't know we're here, or don't care enough to just pass us by. Which is admittedly a little bit more unsettling. This place is kind of warm. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. To a rescue pit boss. A little bit, but that's not what I'm hyping up for. Oh? What's up? There might be a declaration for you. Us, really. They just can't see us. So they don't know where we are, maybe. That's my because guess. Because no one said their name here yet. And let's keep it that way. Yeah, well... So it's a declaration and a show oh, oh well it's kind of hard to be threatened by a bunch of guys in pajamas but there's 200 of them so uh... oh man that did not feel good to look at you don't understand he's mm. got to look at benji and give him another pat on the back whatever happened in hell they must be pissed I felt it in my chest. I didn't like it either. Um, is there anything that Gene's able to do? He was asking a question about down to voice text. Um, yeah, that I, that was when I was saying that he could oh, kind of watch the the group. My bad. <laughs> yeah, Gene was watching the group as well. Um, they are just basically herding past. They're following a, a directive and moving in creepy unison. How close are they? Um, They're about 200 feet away from the gate. Okay. You can see them through the woods because some of them are wearing like brightly colored pajamas and some of them are wearing um, 
other things, but they're definitely wearing pants, so thumbs up for that. Cool. I forgot. How, yeah. how, how big is the distance between the wall and the forest? Um, there's a good 50 feet between the wall and the forest. Okay. As you guys watch, they pass further and deeper into the woods, and eventually the thundering of their movement fades. The hosts that had rung the bells are coming down and they look a little alarmed. Um, one of them is Brian, who a member of the skeptics, um, who just looks unbelievably confused. They were headed right for us. Pit boss thinks that's the barrier. They don't know where we are. They can't see us right now because no one's given them a bearing. We thought they were going to attack. Jesus Christ. We don't yes. know where we are, but... Long maybe we don't give them a... We don't give them a beacon. I'm going to go sit down somewhere. Yeah, you, sh you should. I, I agree. We gotta get that tower running. Yeah. Which means we gotta get this raid done. But I think we're gonna need the warded car. Especially if they're out like that. Yeah. We've gotta take the time. Okay. And so you all get to work knowing that that is out there and can be out there at the drop of a hat. Is that the 666 that I rolled? <laughs> yes, it was. Oh. At least they're wearing pants. I am so happy. They are adhering to the butt prison law. Hannah, you need to do it too. Mm. You can't make me, I'm free. Are you sure about that? Listen, hey. My characters He's... have been good with pants. Yes, they have. We finally... That's a conversation for later. Ben Benji anyway. will, as he goes to find a place to sit down, he'll just take himself back to Atticus after that. He kind of really doesn't feel that hot. Okay. Benji, you go and head back in. Um, and everyone know now knowing kind of what's at stake and what's out there, the upcoming raid is of the utmost importance. Things are going down inside of Red Acre, and obviously that's going to affect things out in the RQZ, and you need to know about that. Um, yep. If you have any hope of trying to figure out how to bring down the relay. Um, and I think that will be a good place to call it for tonight, and we will come back next time with your raid. How does that sound? That, that sounds great. great. Before right. we before we like drop the curtain, Wraith is gonna run mm -hmm. to Chance and be like, "I don't think he needs any more espresso shots. Just saying, I think he's good." <laughs> okay. Anyway, <laughs> let him have more. Oh no! Um, not to not today. No, I did actually have one other question. Mm -hmm. Um, how is Mark doing? He is still in critical condition. Benji will spend some time checking on Mark as well as uh, Kaede and Gera. Since they are I have, out. I have one last question. Mm -hmm. Since my will was good, mm -hmm. is Kaede conscious enough to ask RTD for help? Not yet. But if you keep oh. rolling your will like that, you can. Okay. You're going to have to get through some shit first. Uh, so if I keep rolling that high on my will so to maybe get his help? Yes. Okay. I, I also have one more question. Mm-hmm. 
So last time Wraith talked to uh, Charlotte, she said that the butterfly man, Atticus, was going to make her stay in place for about three days. Mm -hmm. So since it's been longer than that, would he be able to start distracting himself with training to get the taste of wind ability before the raid? Yes. But uh, Charlotte is going to be whapping Wraith with the stick or not sleeping. <laughs> she doesn't know. Wraith, if you don't sleep, then she's going to out you to everybody. Do you want to lie to this very old woman? <laughs> no, don't do it. <laughs> you know what? Never mind. Like lying to your mind. goddamn grandmother. <laughs> just, just take on as an example, please, Wraith. Just don't. Let's <laughs> just get the stick whaps. Fine. Please don't the cat. <laughs> He'll ask her about training first, and if he can't get away with the face value, he'll go take a nap. Uh, in exchange for him taking an actual proper nap, he will he will gain access to Taste the Wind ability. Yay! Man, that's a very cheap cost. Great. I'm so glad that RTD gave it to just told Benji what to do instead of him having to sleep for that shit. He's trying. All right. Excuse me, the other prerequisite was having to outrun eight shapes. Eight shapes. <laughs> uh, anyone have anything else they want to do? No. Uh, I... oh, um, um, make sure we start another hype train for Arcana next train. No. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, my God. Please don't. Gene, uh, you have something? How, uh, I kind of kind of uh how thick are so what is the what are the walls or is it just the chain link fence fence or did we like no you walls? guys have been pouring concrete okay so how thick is it um it's or about a th it's about a foot thick okay and uh is it just the gate how do we have like watchtowers at the gate or you have like or? kind of slapshot watchtowers yeah. at the gate um, and then periodically along the wall, there are kind of like ladders and tiny platforms uh, positions with like a, a very basic overhang to protect from the elements. Okay. Uh, with whatever, I guess, building supplies is left, Jean's going to try to reinforce those watchtowers and then the gate as well. Okay. And then on the outside, maybe those rudimentary uh, spikes. Okay. Um, you are fortifying the wall to make it harder for them to get in. Yes. Okay. Uh, that's what Jean spends some time doing. Uh, anybody else? No, I think Atticus talk is going to be off screen. Yes. Oh, uh, great. And Alex is just mostly doing mechanics work where she can to keep herself busy. Okay. All right. Well, Benji disassociates, will RTD be able to help him poke his brain too? Yes. Yay. All right. With that, we are going to drop the curtain. And when we come back, you guys are going to be going on a raid. Um, yeah, so go ahead and say goodbye to chat. Bye, guys. Bye. Have a beautiful time. Bye bye. There we go. That's the right one. Um. Okay. We are calling it a little bit shorter of session this year, this time, just because we don't have as much time as normally we would. Um, and they need a kind of a launching point to get into the rest of the meat of this particular season's plot. Um, with that, thank you guys all for tuning in tonight. It was a lot of fun. Um, I am super happy that somebody gave me a 666 finally. That's pretty awesome. Um, but uh, we will be back on Monday with Team Impact, heading back to the deep woods, trying to solve the mystery of the crucified blaster, um, which still kills me that those reactions were so funny. Uh, we've got the Spuds on Friday on the 27th, and then on the 28th, the Misfits will be back as we conclude the uh, attempt to stop a dress rehearsal uh, during the vote. Um, so we will see you again this week. Thank you guys again for for the fucking hype train, you actual goblins. Um, we will catch you in a couple of days. Have a good night, everybody, and stay awake.